What is up, people? Give me one second. All right, I apologize for being late. Uh, had some stuff I had to take care of. Mainly, sharing it on my other other channel. So, what I wanted to get into is some fun stuff. Um, nah, not really fun. But, I mean, it's better than, uh, could be, could be worse. Let's just say that. Um, it looks like, you know, things on my channel should be working out soon. Um, uh, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, I'll know, shit, I think I'll know by tomorrow or the next day. Uh, actually, I'll know f tomorrow or the next day for sure what's going down with my uh, with the channel. So, I uh, can't wait for that to happen. And then, um, just give me one second so I can make sure these things work. Okay, perfect. There you go. Um, I need to do one more setting, and I can do that while we're here guys are here waiting with me and we'll get into it um what was i gonna say let me see let me see give me one second get this taken care of and stop babbling over nothing okay perfect all right so one of the things i wanted to definitely talk about was was these the terms these everyone keeps having these it's almost like we're debating the terms right now and it makes no sense to me um, let's start off with seeing who's here. What's up, Sean? What's up, Kurt? Uh, what's up, Blue Marble? How you doing, sir? Uh, let me see. What's up, Crash? Uh, excellent work on your, on your experiment, my friend. All right. And there's a the little stream guy. What's up, D-Back? How you doing? Um, oh yeah, and then let me get through this little thing, this little rant real quick, and then, uh, Got a little surprise for you for that, see that stream element bot in there. Got a fun little game with that thing. Um, but back to what I was saying. Uh, make sure you guys like and share. Help me get this. Uh, people let people know where, that I'm live because it's a little different being here than on my main channel. Um, one of the things that I'm noticing is all of a sudden now, Flat Earth is almost questioning if we're using. Or let me rephrase that. Flat Earth is telling us that if you believe in a globe, you do not have an you, you don't know how the scientific method works. I'm sorry, but that doesn't even make sense. I mean, the worst part to me personally when when that's being said is well, for one, you're saying it. We'll use myself as a uh, 
Now, we'll use myself as a, as, you know, as a, um example. If, say, we'll use Riley, because Riley likes to uh, put that on everybody. So, I tell Riley, hey, I think, you know what, I have evidence that we live on a ball. And he's going to say, you know what, let me get that evidence, Sean. Let's hear it. Well, I'm going to start riddling off ideas of things that I believe are evidence based on what I say. You know, what they bring to the table. I'm going to say stuff like, you know, the sunrise, sunset. Why? Because there's a specific uh, path that the sun makes every day without changing angular size at all. And that would depict to me something else besides a flat earth. Then they'll say something like, well, how do you know what a flat earth sunrise, sunset looks like? Well, I would say, well, it, it couldn't, it wouldn't have that trajectory and be able to still cover 24 hour, you know, get back here in 24 hours and the, se the seasons and all. Okay, that's here and over there right now. But he would instantly say, you're not using the scientific method correctly. What are your variables? What are you, what is your independent variables? What are your dependent variables? And that's where things get weird. Because... Science and the scientific method aren't exactly, hey, let's be in the same category. It kind of doesn't work that way. We're either doing science or we're not. We're either doing the scientific method or we're not. But luckily, the scientific method isn't a science of its own. They're putting so much emphasis on what the scientific method is. They're not doing any science. And maybe that's what's going on. It's like one hand, you have guys going, hey, you're not using the scientific method correctly. Then you got a whole other group of, of flat earthers going, this is how it works. This is what it looks like. This is what we see. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Well, I don't have any science and I didn't use a scientific method. So I couldn't come up with, you know, a, a real good hypothesis for you, Sean. And I'm like, man, when do, when does re, like logic and reality take a place before flat or globe? Because one of the things that keeps being said is that we, we keep using this like as if we suppose that we're on a globe and we're not. That doesn't even make sense. You're supposing that we live on a flat earth and we know we're not. Now, in that sense, you're getting philosophical with it, right? There you go, philosophical science. But what draws those lines? Because, I mean, you can't say everything flat earth is doing isn't science i mean it may not be correct it may not even be the the with the use of the scientific method it doesn't have to use the scientific method to be science just before i got on here to, just now I was trying to figure out the, the settings that I need for this for this microphone, which probably sound like crap right now. I apologize if it's spiking. Um, let me know if it sounds like crap. I can fix it real quick. Um, but I it was uh, almost like a science to have to try to figure out all the configurations to my OBS and my computer and, and, and the edits and the this and the that. I mean, it's not just cut and dry. I, I know that. And, and I, it's just kind of disingenuous for me to just say, you know, you know, all these little things are science, but then again, you know, is it? I think it has science involved, you know, into, you know, figuring out the ratios for my microphone and my headset and, and what you guys hear on, and, and everything like that. So you got to think of it as, you know, it may not be quote unquote, the science. It may not, you know, prove all these answers when, um, when, when it comes down to the, into the brass knuckles of it. But it's still a science. So you can question astronomy. 
it, it is a science though they they do have to do certain things to come up to with the conclusions that they have like you know exoplanets and and uh you know parallax all, all these other i mean they do have they can't just go hey i saw this thank you and walk away they don't mic drop that shit uh what's up Lou? what you saying man he says uh Effie has literally hijacked the the SM and the bulk of what they are saying. Or okay, I say and what they are they say is just wrong. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I noticed that, and I'm pretty sure you guys saw Riley's upload. Riley's upload. That long process of listening to random people read stuff, which. If you guys haven't heard already, like George, like killed that. He he found he he was looking through some stuff, and one of the aspects that he saw was the part where Slick is reading. Slick is reading from a kid's website where they you know they explain science science terms and stuff like that for for little kids, not just like a teenager. I'm talking like six years old. Not to mention. If people, if if Riley highlights an area to be read, don't like start where it's not highlighted and then like read past the high. Like, why? Because half of them said, like, we're saying completely different aspects of it. Half of them they didn't even sound like they've, they were confident in what they were saying. So you don't even know if you can believe that. But then there's one thing that that threw a red flag up to me. Perfect. Uh, and if you get that uploaded, uh, if it's uploaded before the end of the stream, let me know and you just bomb that 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 uh, the chat. And I'd like to watch it on here. But um, even more importantly, it's like okay, so you're, you're see ah, see let me all right, got it. I'm, cause I'm trying to figure out a way to say this without being such a dick. I'm done being a dick. Um, it's not fun anymore, you know. I was upset for so long and for a good week and a half, for, and it turns out uh, I let I let it get the best of me. And uh, Chris Berry, I do apologize for being such a cocksucker to you, man. Um, I mean, you are you are uh, obnoxious, uh, annoying as fuck. Uh, you you don't know what you're talking about. You bring crappy ass photos to the table, my friend. But you didn't deserve all the shit talking I did. I do apologize. Um, with that said, uh, we'll continue on with what I was saying. Now, when all those flat earthers read off all, or when they read off the same thing over and over again, there was one thing I kept hearing: one independent variable, one independent variable. One independent variable. And I thought, well, like, what if, like, uh, there were different aspects of the ex that experiment that groups were doing, but, like, their notes still have to collaborate so that, I mean, those would be multiple independent variables. And, and, and I thought, I was still, you know, thinking even further into it. I went, I, wait, wait. I wonder, I wonder if... Yeah, wait, wait. I wonder if you can have like the science say one variable, or or when you're reading a definition for what a when that independent variable is, what, is it going to say independent variable? Is it going to describe it as multiple independent variables? So I looked into it, and and I'm I'm a, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's a lot of different types of variables. What's up, Jose? Thank you, my friend. As, uh, I'm going to edit recording from earlier. From here later, I will cut some dead. Part. Okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah, um, and that's the other thing. If you guys have uploads right now um, or edits or anything, and I'm live while you know when it's ready, let me know, and I'll I'll play it or I'll I'll, I'll blow up my whole chat. I don't care. Um, but like I was saying, so I, I'm I'm. I'm looking into variables, and the first thing I realize is that, yeah, there's there's a lot of variables. Like, not just it's saying a lot of variables. I mean, like, I'm looking at right now, 
seven different or six different types of variables um, in in a, in a science experiment. Um, and to me, it, it would make sense that you would avoid saying these things if you know you're, you're going live or re uploading a video trying to prove a bunch of Glovers the definition to an independent very and dependent variable. See, that's the other thing. Why is Flat Earth spending so much time? I mean, six individual moments in that upload of people reading the independent what if the independent and dependent variables are. I mean I kind of feel left out. My turn. This let's do this. It says a variable is what is measured or manipulated in an experiment. Variables provide the means by which scientists structure their observations. Identifying the variables and an experiment provides a solid understanding of the experiment and what the key findings in the experiment are going to be. That's, that was weird. It, it, it does make it seem to say a variable is a measurable manipulated in an experiment. But then it says variables. But see, I guess that would just be the way a sentence is structured, right? What's up, Big Dreads? How you doing, sir? What's up, Randy? How you doing? Make sure you get that. All right, so I, I, I completely get where, you know, you can have some kind of wording in there and it kind of sound, seemed weird. Um, but again, let, let's just go straight to the, the, the point. Independent and dependent variables. An independent variable is the variable you have control over. What you, could, what you, could, well, what you can choose and manipulate. It is usually what you think will, will affect the dependent variable. In some cases, you may not be able to manipulate the independent var variable. Whoa. That's a problem. Because I've heard numerous times, numerous times, we have, ha, ha, have to be able to manipulate that independent variable. Why does this say don't? Oh, no, no, no. I worded that part wrong as well. How come you may not be able to? Now, that's a good question. Because I didn't hear them at all once say, in some cases, you may not be able to manipulate the independent variable. Now, would this source be wrong? Or, or, or is assuming you have to manipulate the independent variable every time is a must, isn't or maybe that's wrong. Exactly, Blue. That's exactly what I was gonna say. You don't there are situations you may not ha be the one that actually manipulates that independent variable. There could be something else, but the knowing that it could ver that the variable can be, can be manipulated and or change the first observation is an independent variable. The fact that it does change makes it an independent variable. It's not necessary that you have to be the one who physically changes the variable. Period. Because if that were the case, we wouldn't be able to talk about any almost ninety percent of the science. Because a lot of those sci the science is ob just observing it. You don't prove volcanoes, tectonic plates by manipulating any variable, temperatures, time of year location those are independent variables that you can watch if i want if i if i was going to my goal was to was to prove you know if my goal was to understand gain knowledge of how the tonic plates 
the ocean and the atmosphere work together? What about those in what about those variables? Can I physically change myself? What can I can't do anything about those variables, but those are those are my variables. What happens here? What happens here? What happens here? Hmm. Hmm. That's that's kind of puts a skew in this whole independent variable has to be able to be man manipulated. I just keep, went through a scenario where it, it's obviously not going to happen. If you're still here, Ranty, um, if you could, I mean, could you get a hold of uh, of Riley? I'd like to ask him that question. Um, if he can, if, 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 because I'm not calling him out, I'm not calling him out at all. But, you know, since it was his upload, I'd like to ask him. Um, and, and let him know I, if he can be here in like 10, next 10, 15, I can have him up here and not have to worry about anybody trying to over talk him or anything. Because I, I, I honestly want to know. Um, where that situation, the experiment that I, I just, you know, uh, voiced, how that would be uh, manipulated by, by myself. Um, only because I don't understand it all, but I'm just, you know, think tanking right now. I'm kind of just free balling it, seeing how I, what pops out in my mind when I'm reading this. So I'll finish it now. Um, I'll continue. In the same, in some cases, you may not be able to manipulate the independent variable. It may, may be something that is already there and is fixed. Something you would like to evaluate with respect to how it affects something else. The dependent variable like color, kind, and time. The dependent variable is what you measure in the experiment and what, it is, what is affected during the experiment. Dependent variable responds to the independent variable and it is called dependent because it depends on the independent variable. Okay, so that is one thing that I, that's the first thing I've seen that just that outright says. Okay, no worries. Uh, let me see. Let me see. You sure? Because uh, let me go to it. I'll check it. Either way, I already uh, just DM'd uh, Riley in any way. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the budget lit ranty right there. Um, yeah, no worries. I don't care. Um, like I said, I'll put the link in, in Riley's uh, Discord server. Um, so, like I said, so I just finally came across a part where so far, because remember... Everything I've read so far, it's basically been very descriptive, explaining, you know, letting us know what things are, <clears throat> excuse me, what things are and, and, and what we're looking for. So, but just now, we, we definitely, definitely heard a must. Right? We definitely heard a must in there. Um, I'll go over again. It says... The dependent variable responds to the independent variable. It is called the dependent because it, is, it depends on the independent variable. It depends on it. In, in a scientific experiment, you cannot have a dependent variable without the independent variable. Hmm. So, hey, Blue, that must have been what you were just talking about. They, they're, they're, they've read a lot of this. But I didn't hear any of them say what I just said in this last, par in this last little area. So, right here. Just this alone debunks all six. All six of what those flat earthers were saying about the independent variable in all thanks to, to, to Riley. Riley convinced them how right he was, like he normally wants to. And right off the bat, what it happens? You see the flaws in, in what they're doing. 
Why didn't they read that? Why why in that um in that upload, Riley, did did Karen B, you know, the member of the Flat Earth Science Corps, how come she didn't make it clear that hey, you're making such an emphasis on this independent variable and only being able to have one variable? Riley, why didn't you why did or fuck her? Karen, why didn't you fix that correction? Why didn't you let him know that, hey, by the way, you're not correct. You can have multiple variables. And this whole manipulate the variable thing is not as important as you're making it seem because of just how you're reading it. It doesn't work that way. Right? So... We've already established that Riley's upload is already incorrect. And now it's not just Riley that's incorrect. It's now seven flat earthers in one upload that's are, that is incorrect based on one, one, two, three, four sentences right here. Riley's whole argument for that upload Every time he's talking to Flat Earthers about the, science, the experiments and the observations we're making, the main thing is right off the bat, he says, you guys are not using scientific method correctly. Well, if he doesn't know the distinctions between what an independent variable is and its limitations or its, or its, uh, or, or its, you know, its use, term the term used for it in 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 this and if he doesn't understand what the depend the dependent variables need or what they're for if he doesn't understand all of that how is he doing any science at all now you don't need to know all this to do science again i i i'm i've literally learned this what we're talking about last night now I've known it, I've heard it, I, I understand it a lot when I'm hearing it. I don't really look into it enough. But to be honest, last night was the first time I've actually sat down, opened up three or four fucking web pages on my screens, and just started pounding out and trying to figure out which ones are, are worded for what. Because if you're slick, right, and you got that five-year-old science website up, you understand you're going to get a definition, but most likely it's not going to be adult, functional. It's basically so kids can understand what the grownups are doing, right? Now, if you're, you know, in a website like where I'm at, LabRite, uh, it's a NCSU, Education uh, Provisional Physics thing, Mo Jigger. Um, I think this is pretty credible. I have, I have no reason to doubt it. Now, I have no reason to doubt any one of those websites they were reading either. But when, when, when you read this, when you do this, when you're reading, a, like, remember, every single person we saw had this kind of page, right? So when you see that and you only see, like, this much and this much, and then over here it's like that much, and then over here it's like that, and then they're done. First of all, they're missing a lot. Two, that's usually a really clear sign that they're, they're jumping over stuff and dodging saying things for a reason. I mean, we clarified everything and made it, and, and I'm sorry, but if I understand that I, I made it pretty damn clear, I, I would hope they do. But where they read those little bits and pieces everywhere around that whole paragraph, I just read this right here. And figured it out. Because the next three are examples. And then the multiple variables. And we're going to read that too. So here we go. We'll go straight to the multiple. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Messaging Riley right now. All right, 
we'll see if he show he is is free and able to jump on the panel. And uh, hopefully it is, because I, I like to have a conversation with him about it. Um, let's see. Sorry about that. So like I said, um, this, there we go. Sorry about that. Just got to get the screen up there. Okay, so, and yeah, and I see you guys in the chat. If you need to talk to me, let me know. Just make sure you tag me, and then I'll see it. Um, so let's get, let's get into what the a multiple variables but multiple variables are it says get here. Okay, so it is possible to have experiments in which you have multiple variables there may be more than one dependent variable or independent variable so i stand corrected this is especially true if you are conducting an experiment with multiple stages or sets of procedures which is what I was saying a minute ago. What if it's a very large experiment, you have groups, but all those groups' um, information need to collaborate? In, this, in these experiments, there, are, there may be more than one measurement, measure, one of, or, uh, I'm sorry about that, may be more than one set of measurements with different variables. Example. You are interested in finding out which color, type, and smell of, of flowers are preferred by butterflies in pollination, for pollination. You randomly choose an area you know to be inhabited with butterflies and note all the species of flowers in the area. You want to measure the pollination of the flowers by butterflies, so you, the, your dependent variable is the pollination by butterflies. The independent variable are flower, are flower colors type, and smell. You need to specify relationships for each of these independent variables with the dependent variables. Again, this is, a, this is an experiment we're looking at right here that the flower color, type, and smell, we do not physically need to manipulate it. So again, the idea that you have to manipulate the variable yourself is BS. In this experiment, flower color, type, and smell have nothing to do with you physically having to manipulate any independent variable. So, again, with logic, the philosophical idea of how this works, it's pretty cut and dry. Hang on one second. Let me see. All right. Well, we'll see if my, he responded, but uh, I guess he's being a little bit less than uh, respectful, but uh, whatever. Um, again, I. I, I would prefer him come on because I'd like to understand where if I am wrong in the situation. Um, but I don't believe he's going to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and just put the link out there. I kind of wanted to give him an, an opportunity to to um, come on and, and, and have a discussion about it um, without, you know, a lot of people on the panel so that he doesn't have to worry about a shouting match or getting talked over or anything like that. And uh it, Seems like he, I don't think he wants to. So again, uh, I'll put the chat out there real quick. And uh, if anybody wants to join the chat, more than welcome to. Um, it, it, it's one of the other red flags that I've always noticed that doesn't make sense to me, and uh, and kind of why you know why some of you may know me from like debating reds or. Um, or the little debates that I had on my channels with Gary or uh, uh, I forget a lot of names right now, but anyway, and the reason for that was was because I felt like I know what I know. I, I honestly I felt like it was flat. I I thought I had an, a good i 
good idea of a way to explain this that people would understand. So I, I jumped headfirst into debating um, if, but if you like, you go and watch my debates, there's something I did that I, I didn't do on purpose. It was very much so subconscious, but it's based on the knowledge I even had of Flat Earth. I never talked, this is proof of Flat Earth. That's why I always said that, because I was never someone who got online, live stream, and went, all right, let's, let, me sh let me throw this out. I just found this. I just did this experiment, and it's flat. I never did that. I, 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 like I said, it, it, sounds, it sounds almost like I'm, I'm trying to avoid it, but it's, this is reality. Again, that geoengineering, weather modification stuff, like, that's what I was doing. I, I didn't have time. But at the same time, um, if you go back and listen to any of those, any, almost any debate I had, it was always very situational. What's up, Sean? How you doing, sir? Um, and, and, and the fact that it's always situational, um, it, it, it kind of diverts from, is he proving flat earth or is he proving this point? Um, one of the debates I have with Reds is bridges. Now, there may be bridges within the overall spectrum of that bridge. Curvature is accounted. But in order to build that bridge, to survey that bridge, curve has nothing to do with what that surveyor is doing. Nothing. He is not adjusting for curvature. He is not adjusting... Oh, for eight inches per square mile, because that number is very second grade, and it's only there to explain to you in layman's terms, layman's terms, how the how we know the measurements for the shape of the Earth. There are things you have to equate when you're doing that type of uh, that measurement, whether it be offsets, which is a very, very important thing, because offsets do correct you for the topography of the world. And with that, we we know there's we know it's a globe because we see the beginning of our perceivable observational curve. Just the way it is. That horizon is where the curve begins. It's not ramping uphill because if you're on a ball, please explain to me at what point you're going uphill. And again, you may believe you're going uphill because you're staring at a basketball sitting on your floor right now, but please understand that's not walking uphill because if you really just close your eyes and think about standing on a ball, it's always down from if you if everything's at the center of the ball, you're always kind of on a down arch almost. Dude, like you're not going uphill. No reason to even say it. Or you can have like the mind of God's famous one. Water ramps up. <laughs> How you doing, Sean? How you been? Oh, shit. Stop. Don't talk. No, don't talk. I have to change the settings because I forgot to do the settings for the headset. Because I can't even hear you this time. Turn these on. That's the one thing I love about rants. You don't have to hear anything, so I didn't even think about it. My bad. Um, give me one half a second. I just got to turn my headphone device on and off. Because for some odd reason, it feels the need to always have to do that. What's up, Crash? Um, give me one second. No one can hear you at the moment. Uh, Got to get the speaker set back up again. Take me two minutes. Or not even. All right. I should be able to hear you guys now. Yep, there we go. And uh, go ahead and say it one more time. All right, give me one second. Got to change the OBS. Uh, what I need to do is I need to stop switching my OBS profiles. It's fun to make new new little sceneries and shit, but so not worth it in the long run of it. Or can you back up your uh, profiles to a oh. like a 
and then just switch that way and then you do that oh yeah 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 no i'm just i'm just being picky and and, and sloppy oh. right now that's it no big deal <laughs> it, it happens um what it is is i end up what i end up doing is i get off I, like i live stream i finish and then i get an idea for a background and then i'll spend oh, like all freaking day doing it so yep. yeah i understand well how you doing crash I am doing quite good today. How about yourself? Doing pretty good, pretty good. So I got to I got to watch maybe two and a half minutes of your experiment before I had I was taken away to have to go to do something. Uh, would you mind explaining how all that went? Oh, we haven't set it up yet. We're just going okay. through the basics of what we'll be using. It'll be sometime next week when we get that big bird in the air. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Buddy of mine, Jay, is sending me a vector tree telemetry system so that we can monitor everything that the aircraft's doing in flight, Ooh. every direction of acceleration, every speed, uh, forward, lateral, and vertical acceleration will all be registered, live streamed, and data recorded and sent to an on-screen display. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you guys are going to do this correctly and Flat Earth won't be able to say anything about it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Awesome. Ah, congratulations. <laughs> um, I, I'm excited for it because as far as I'm concerned, this, the, the gravity situation, when it comes to it, this whole density and buoyancy thing, is probably like their best thought of an idea of how to be disproving the globe. Realistically, all they're doing is just clumping something together, two terms together, and avoiding having to explain how that impossible task could be done. Um, yeah. Uh, we it, were talking to uh, Bob, the science guy on Jose's channel yesterday, that said if we can maintain the acceleration long enough and go faster than 9.81 meters per second squared, the density column would restructure itself in reverse. But then Ooh, what would happen? Wow. It. Uh, Proves that there's a uh, a force pulling everything down at a constant speed, and when we go past that speed, we would have an opposite force yeah. in the entirely other direction. So the column would restructure in a completely opposite direction. Yeah, it makes sense. Wouldn't isn't that the same thing as like pulling the skin off your body? Because <laughs> if you're going in one direction, your skin goes the other way. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But that's yeah. the nice thing about using a giant RC plane for it. We don't have pilots or occupants to worry about killing when I pull out of a dive. Yeah, true. That's very true. Very, very true. What's up, Big Blue? How you doing, sir? Yeah, it, muted. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, oh, had, it, had, it, had it muted. Oh, you're good. Got, got too many tabs open. Couldn't find the right one. Yeah, see, now he knows what, how I feel. Working now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, good. you're good to go now. Um, yeah, so... So, here's, here, this is, so this is what happened. So I went over to uh, the, the server, and, and, and I messaged Riley. I've talked to him a few times, so I have his messages. And I asked him if he wanted to come on over. And he said basically no in a pretty rude way and then <laughs> uh, right after that uh said uh or like this is what he says i said hey i, I sent him the link he says he says there are no there, there is no credibility to philosophical matters in science we, we want cause and effects demonstrating if not sci not scientific method it's philosophical only pseudoscience. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, he's telling me that he expects us to do our due diligence. That's fine. But what the hell has he done with the scientific method once? Yeah. One time. What name <laughs> one experiment he's done where he put this scientific method into play and said, hey, it's flat. Name one. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty hypocritical. And that's yeah, my, they, uh, yeah, that's my biggest well, issue. Well, he did right float now. an egg and uh, he did I'm float not, an egg and some salt water. 
Yeah, yeah I saw that. Or here's some the, water on some balls. That they did that. But here's the problem: you guys all skipped the independent variable speech speeches. I skipped the egg part and I listened to the variable part. <laughs> so, because when I re- when I heard them reading that, <laughs> I realized, damn, like That'd half of the- more fun to watch. Believe me. <laughs> you know, look, I can tell you right now, listening to six different people <laughs> try to read in six different ways or five different ways, and then then and then slick. Because man, I don't know how he didn't catch the fact that he was reading a kindergartner book. <laughs> he did ten of them. <laughs> he did. Ten, uh, he did ten of the damn things. That is amazing. Did he at least notice too that every one of right? them uses the word manipulate? Mm, yep, every time. And and they they literally would jump yeah, paragraphs they, yeah, to be it, able to that, say that. Every every one every time you read this every time every time you read one of those definitions of the scientific method, it will use the phrase manipulate with the independent variable. Manipulate can be interpreted a lot of ways. Mm-hmm. One way of manipulating an independent variable is just to simply sit and let it change by itself. Yeah, the, the fact that, that it does change. Yeah. But that's, yeah, that's as long as it changes. It does not have to be you that changes it, as long as it changes. Yeah. It was uh, oh, so what it comes down to is this he they want that method uh, so narrowly defined simply because they want to be able to say well if you can't change the rotational speed of the earth then you can't prove it's rotating correct yeah see here's the problem i have now why is it not spinning such a a a goal for them i mean realistically i mean for a long time they were happy to say it was a globe not spinning right not not the flat earthers. I'm just saying, it's, you know, in general, isn't the geocentric? Didn't they believe, you know, the Earth wasn't spinning, but they thought it was a globe at that time, right? Oh, I don't. I I don't, I don't know. I'm asking. I told you guys, I'm caveman. I'm just an auto mechanic, so yeah. That's not. Hey, that's not an excuse. I Matter of fact, know. stop saying that because I, I, I work on diesels. I used to own my own company, so I used to run heavy equipment, so I know how to re- build a diesel engine. Um, the, the diesel pickup trucks, I could pull in and replace it in a day and a half by myself. So, But I, I can't think about a lot of these things that are too way above my thinking status, so that excuse don't work for you anymore. <laughs> I've got you are, a legitimate you are far excuse. smarter than me now. I have a legitimate excuse. What's I'm that? really, really high right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's no excuse. So am I. Wait. <laughs> yeah, maybe I still. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We're good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, I don't know about you. I, I, was, I, I was, was trying to say that was a whole flatter thing until they triggered me and told me I wasn't intelligent enough to conduct this experiment on my own. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that, that's that's ballsy. Oh, really? That's like telling someone. Uh, I can. I can. a word with those boys. That's like mm-hmm. saying you pitch a ball to me. And we'll go play baseball. You pitch the ball, and I'm gonna hit a home run. And then they go, "Have you ever played baseball?" Like, nah, I've never even swung a bat. That's a, <laughs> it's like that's what flat Earth is doing. They're going, "You guys can't hit a home run." And then they're like, "Do you even know what game we're playing?" And they're like, "Foosball." And you're like, "Oh yeah, okay, I see where it's, how this is going." It, it's it's almost it's how like, big is that RC playing crashes? Uh, sixty four inch wingspan. Is it a large RC? How big is it? Uh, 64 inch wingspan, 72 inches, nose to tail. Uh, Sean saw it on my channel last night. Yeah, nice bird. I have access to a larger bird if yeah, required. Boy. So, is that 10th scale? Is that. Uh, oh. We get up that size, we read them by oh, engine uh, size. Oh, okay. 16th? What, or is that? So we get up yes. around that size size of bird we rate it by engine size so that plane is flying it's rated for a 0. 0.90 cubic inch motor and i have a 1.20 on it not bad no uh, oh, i can on the old heads that? that they that they make they i mean those things started becoming popular when they took like model rc engines that's what that is that engine that runs a, a scooter those motorized scooters that's mm-hmm. an rc engine yep 
<laughs> uh, Crash, is it something like this one? Why isn't it working? Hang on one second. Huh. All right. I think I just froze. Hang on, give me a second. I hate computers. Yeah, give me a second. Let me see if I can pull that up without freezing my computer. I don't know why this... A buddy of mine has a uh, an engine that I want to make a go-kart out of. He lives in Ohio, so it'd be kind of hard to get. But it's a the old Yamaha Jeep or Suzuki Jeep engine, the old three-cylinder, oh, yeah. two-stroke. Yeah, those are it's sweet. About this, the whole engine is this long, but it has horsepower out the ass. You put that on a, on a go-kart? Oh, yeah. The whole thing, transmission and all, is like 24 inches long. It's teeny. You're gonna have to do a subframe for it. Me, awesome. Because uh, <laughs> I did, I did, I, I kind of did the same thing. I, so usually they put the R22s, you know, the the Forerunner engines into uh, into G or to to Samurais is what I used to do. Um, well, I I took mine out <laughs> and and I replaced the, I replaced my Samurai with a, a V6. Um, and it it didn't work. I I I, sh- I didn't. I didn't take into account my uh, shaft and, and, and axle being so small compared to the power that the tra- every wood thing would have. So I, I destroyed that pretty quick. Um, I won't do that again, but uh, that was always what I did. Me and my friends, we would, we would, we'd pull engines out of Hondas and preludes, you know, the whole import car thing. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, got, I started young pulling engines then when i got into uh construction with my dad uh i owned an f-250 my whole life and uh 91 and uh those 7.3s you had more than enough room to to jump in it and pull it all out and put it back in in a day's time right on uh i'm still trying to, i'm still waiting for my google page to uh stop freezing up on me <laughs> i'd like uh, to but, get into the uh, whole rat rod thing like get an old uh like a model t model a you know model t would be better with a bed and just rat it out chop the top lower it flip the flip the chassis the whole nine yards uh, can i close the wrong tab sorry about that guys in other words, hey you guys can hear me still right oh yeah uh-huh. yeah okay okay because right now yeah. all my google screens just froze up on me so i don't want to touch anything until i Uh-oh. have to <laughs> but just so you know, if this hangout shuts down, I'll be back in two and a half minutes with another hangout. Cool. Because I, I, I just don't know what's about to happen right now. Because okay. all my screens just turned white on me. So. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Yeah, I've been chased. I've been what's huh. so. I I did the worst thing you could ever do to a computer about a, a year ago, and that's called overclocking. <laughs> and uh, I've been suffering from it ever since I did it. So. Overclocking is cool, but if you do it too much, I mean, you can yeah. go, you, you know, but man, you can push it and that really fries stuff if you don't have the right cooling stuff for it. Yeah, that's, well, that's what happened to mine. My, I have, a, I have the processor for it, but my knowledge wasn't ready for it yet. So when it came time to overclocking, I was like, what are the maxes? Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my computer said, okay, let's do this and died. So. I was working on bringing up uh, the aircraft specs from the company's website on another screen, and I accidentally closed this one out. Ah, okay. I see. <laughs> Wonderful reopen. Yes. Ah, damn it. Yeah. I like going. I like on a hangout where a uh, person wants to present something, so they just draw like an image. They drag it onto the hangout screen, <laughs> and, like shuts them down. Yeah. All right, so I'm about to see what's about to happen. So if I do disappear, I'll be right back in in this hangout or with another one. We'll see. We will see. Oh, nope, everything fried.
damn everything but the hangout came back up <laughs> um i think i will be able to get back to the hangout uh oh shit and i mean it'd be good am i streaming find out okay everything says i'm streaming uh hear myself I don't know what's going on. Hang on, give me a second, guys. Uh, while I fix this this fuck up real quick. Um, what's happening is, is I my screen froze out on me, so I'm having to start the hangout over again. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can just enter the hangout. Another issue is that it's saying I am not even live streaming. So, oh, okay, I just have to read this. Oh no, which one? Wrong one. All right, yeah, sorry guys, my computer froze on me for a second, so I'm kind of in the process of re-getting getting the Hangout back up and uh, getting my, my watch page back up, because I know I'm live, but I can't see anything yet, so. Please bear with me, I apologize. Um, yeah, if you guys can hear me, I'm going to have to make the Hangout again, so give me one second. Fuck. Pretty sure I'm sharing everything I'm doing right now. Oh shit. Hang on. I should be live still. Uh bear with me guys. I'm almost there. La, 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 la. All right, I am back in the control room and I am setting up my hangout. All right, good. We're still streaming. Everything looks good. Uh, where's my hangout? No hangout. All right, I'm going to make a hangout right now um, and I'll put the link in the chat. <sighs> no matter what we do. Yeah, Jose had issues today. I have an issue. Damn. Yes. That's it. So the hangout is. I'm going to put the hangout link in the chat right now. And we can get back to it. I do apologize, guys, for having to deuce this. Um, let me see if this will work. I have an idea. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the link back in the chat. I do apologize again um, for having to do this once all over again. But here we go. So there's the link. Hangout's good to go again. And uh, we can hopefully continue on. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to try to find those guys in the other Hangout. And hopefully I'll be able to at least get the link in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know how to do this. Uh, 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 uh. All right, maybe that will work. Let's see. Gonna kick me out the call. Oh, okay, perfect. I'm able to join this. Nope. All right, I gotta go to the back. To the back chat. <laughs> All right, but the Hangout link is up there, guys. Um, if you guys see it, go ahead and jump on it. That's the new one. Um, I Everything is good to go, so I can hear you, and you'll be able to hear me, blah, 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 blah. Nothing's frozen anymore. Um, but like I said, more importantly, I want to get those guys back in here because I know damn well they were in the middle of saying something. Where can I find it? 
All right. So, like I was saying, th there's for all the computer crap. I do apologize again. Um, it's pretty cut and dry when it comes down to the 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 factors, and I guess you would say, in in, in understanding science. Uh, I wanted to go back and read what Riley was saying, but I'm not in the mood to go through all that crap again. Um, but I think it's it's insanely disingenuous for the way he's acting. Uh, I didn't I didn't show you guys the messages, but I mean it was he's he's being a dick basically. Um, there's really no other way of putting it. He's he was being pretty much an asshole about you know the, what I asked him, and uh, I I took offense to it only because of the fact that it's like if you're going to assume we're doing it all wrong, don't you need to at some point assume? you've not started yet um let me see oh, shit why didn't somebody just oh, that's a good idea there we go um that's what i'll do one second i'm gonna get my phone and i'll get those guys over here from my phone um like i said it's it doesn't make sense to me and this is and this is probably the most frustrating part about flat earth right now to me Even if you're not like a content creator or, or someone who's, who's always involved in what's going on with Flat Earth First Globe type stuff situation, um, don't, why don't you ever, why aren't you guys the ones that are going, hey, why aren't there all these Flat Earth proofs, all these Flat Earth evidence for Flat Earth being presented? You're not like, I haven't seen one. I'm more irritated with Riley because he's so critical of what we're doing, yet shows nothing. We're not Isla like what was it? They did the what, Isla Man. That was a joke. It was a what, hundred episodes of yes, no, yes, no. It's just ridiculous. No, I don't have time for that shit. And for him to act like you know, for one, he's smarter than everyone. That was that was his. I think that was his main trucks you know hey i just need you guys to know by the way you know i'm a little smarter than all of you so you know i'm gonna make an upload and uh i'll make people read you know sentence here and a sentence there and it'll be all good it doesn't work that way it doesn't work okay so let me get in the chat um hopefully those guys know by now that i'm i'm, I'm not there um Oh, uh, wow. How did I do that? That does not make sense. Hang on one second, because I just caught a boo-boo on my computer. The fuck? Okay, never mind. It's fixed. Ha ha, got it. So, Mind of God says, there's evidence for a flat Earth right in front of my screen. Right on my screen. And what exactly would that be? Jose, uh, all right. What's up, Jose? How you doing, sir? Is shit working? Yes, it's working. Woohoo! Yeah. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so did you did you get a chance to uh, see Riley's upload? No, I did not. Uh, I got a notification. I'm subscribed to him, but I didn't. I didn't watch it. Okay, because he, he, you know, how he's always nitpicking the scientific method. Um, he decided to nitpick it by saying that we were all doing scientific method wrong because we don't understand the independent variable. So he had six or seven. I I'm guessing he probably had like 10 flat earthers, uh, read the definition for independent variable. Um, I think he only put six of them in the upload, but, uh, like they nitpicked around paragraphs and 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 made the the definition sound good for them and, and I got on here, and within what three minutes of reading it, just debunked everything they were saying just in the fa just in the fact that they they're nitpicking through paragraphs yeah, this is John Stonja classes quantum eraser cherry-picking semantics game that Riley plays. 
this is all quantum eraser yeah and time, bro. the worst part is is it's so obvious because i mean especially like i i know myself and i'm pretty sure you, I, yeah when you were right nathan i'm sure you, you had to see it especially see it now um how blindly these guys will just say stuff because quantum eraser says to say it and i've talked to him one time i'm not gonna lie he is very very pushy yeah it's it's ridiculous you know they approach this cherry picking this uh this scientific method in quotes which is very narrow this is works i'm not sure i don't want to make any claims but is this some for some kind of uh, either biology or some shit like that, which it doesn't apply to everything as a as the only science, you know, the only method for science? Because I I Google scientific method and a bunch of different scientific methods show up. So mm-hmm. why is John Stonja pushing just this narrow, uh, you know, method of the scientific method? Is just fucking cherry picking, mind quoting, quoting. Oh, oh yeah, it's exactly that is one hundred percent what it is. Um, in in his so in, in it's very clear because um, instead of reading here, let me pull this up so you guys can see this real quick. I'm gonna put it on the uh, hangout. Uh, give me one second. This is and again, this isn't the um the same website that I was reading from uh, a little while ago. And I kind of did it on purpose because I want to go to a different site and see where the variations and how they're, they they uh, use the verbiage to describe it. But there's one thing I'm guessing will happen. It's not going to change, but only very like it'll, the way it's said, the way it's written may change. But what the independent variable and the dependent variable does and is, it doesn't change. You can interpret it however you want but you can also be corrected which we've we tried to do um so here we go let me get the hangout up you know who's the who, you know who's the best on on breaking this down and explaining it very eloquent and easy and uh digestible to come across jim panda jim panda is the man to mm-hmm. break down how wrong quantum eraser is uh, i've okay. been in some of his little presentations over on discord and other places and he is freaking awesome this yeah. is just cherry picking at grad grand day you know mm-hmm. what quantum does well the the main thing to me is is it should be pretty simple to explain what they're saying if what they're saying is what they really believe if that makes sense um because i I've, I've never on to this day I don't think I've ever seen Riley do the scientific method. I mean, I guess maybe, I don't know what he did today, but as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't the scientific method to the point where I'm convinced he knows even what it is. Yeah, I have seen any. Zero flat earthers on all these years of the new flat earth resurgence. Nobody have done science following this scientific method that they propose and they push. None of them have done anything yeah it, it, and it's it's very frustrating especially because in in, in, in this uh, for for me and i'm you know in, in your situation they look like here's what really frustrates me i get looked at like i'm crazy i want answers from flat earth and, and i had someone go well you're a, you're a glober now so it doesn't even matter what we say and i went no 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 i did two years of flat earth i want my fucking answers if you're going to sit here now and tell me I'm crazy, then you better have some really good fucking answers to how you came up with a flat earth. And no one does. No one. Not one person. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I mean, how easy it is to explain on earth what we see every single day, which is a sunrise and sunset. Oh, those are lights in the sky. It has nothing to do with the shape of the earth. But it's, we are living on earth and we see a sunrise, we see a sunset every single day. So what the hell do you mean that doesn't have to do with Earth? Of course, you're going to have to explain how our sunrise and sunset works. They have no explanation. Perspective, really. I don't know. It's, it's it, mind-boggling, bro. That's the, that's the best part because, okay, you can, you can perspective, okay. But that just means you're looking at something. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, like you're not, you're not, not doing something special. You're just saying I look at something over and over again, and and we get that you're looking at something. What now? I gotta reshare my screen. Um, it, it's it's so frustrating. Um, it's even more frustrating. So there's people like Chris Berry, who I think he, in his mind, he he's going to be the the one. You know, when Quantum Eraser goes, he's taking over because he's like a baby Quantum Eraser. He he literally tells you how the science works, and if you uh-huh. don't agree. And if you don't agree, he'll tell you, no, 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 no. You don't know what you're talking about. And then my favorite, my new part now that he does is, well, the rumpus says. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, right. It's amazing to me when he says that. Uh, man, I hope those guys are still aren't in that other hangout. This is, this is what's funny about this Quantum Eraser character, a uh, gatekeeping Bladder gatekeeper character. <laughs> um, the last interaction that I had, I think it was a, a few weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, on the Discord server on Betty's Discord server, and I was listening, and there was a new guy, uh, whatever, some guy that is not very co- very common around the neighborhood, the YouTube. He was very knowledgeable guy, and they were arguing. And Quantum Mirror said, "Oh, I'm gonna start posting the definitions in the chat in the chat box," and he was throwing. Uh, from I don't know, I'm just gonna make shit up. From Scientific America, when you say dependent variable, this means this and that. And then I click on on every single website that he presented from this dictionary, dictionary A, dictionary B, dictionary C, this encyclopedia, this university. Every single link that he presented, I click on it and I type in on the search box on the same citation that he gave. I type in Earth, Earth. Every single one of those say. Uh, either how the earth uh, uh, rotation about the earth shape about earth <laughs> yeah. space about the shape of the earth mm-hmm. all of every single citation say the earth is spherical and round and I told him dude I've been typing this and it tells the earth is round so it means the citations you got is cherry picking no 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 but the definitions are right but then the other explanations are wrong I said like dude bro it was <laughs> laughable he said I said so okay so you're telling me if I type in independent variable, the definition is right by the by the you know by the minuscule letter. But if I think, type in Earth and it tells me the Earth is spherical and it tells me the orbits on the planets around the Earth is wrong, he say you got that right. I say, bro, you're so full of shit. Yeah. Laugh about bro. Yeah, it, it's it's ah, see, it's so one sided. I, I hope everyone realizes this as well. This whole debate. It's so one-sided, obviously, Globe, that I realized, realistically, we shouldn't even be engaging with these people. That's, that's how far-fetched it is. It, there's nothing behind it. I'll tell you, I, I'm going to tell you right now. I, if someone can present and explain one flat Earth evidence... Man, I don't know. I'd be impressed. I I would I would give you a pass for everything. I would listen to that person because I would be convinced that they may have an idea of how it works. The problem is I was flat earth for two and a half years and I don't care if anybody out there thinks I was real flat earth or not. I busted my ass to try to figure this shit out and guess what? It's not fucking flat. It's not, yeah. And then people try to bring the Big Bang Theory and the evolution and creation and the light yeah. years away, it really does have anything to do with the shape of the no, earth, does, you know? It, it, it's, that's, it's all yeah. cool stuff to debate about and to talk about and theoretical, but it's just theoretical, but we can solid prove that the earth is not flat. That's that's what we can mm. do, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely. And and one of the things for me was, was I was uh, I was one of the only flat earthers that uh, believed in evolution. I, I researched it. I, I, I'm sure as hell nowhere near Aaron Ra, but I, you know, I have a good concept of it. I, I have experiment. I, I know, I know of experiments that they've done to have evidence and conclude that you know evolution is is the process is real. Obviously, we don't have enough time to see this on a large scale, but the, there are things we can see that 
take those steps to being what's going on. It has nothing to do with God. I got one question for the mind of money in the chat. Mind of money, prove that the earth is flat. I mean, it wasn't a question. It's a, it's a command. Prove that the earth is flat. He keeps saying, prove that Polaris is 433 light years away. Prove that we are spinning. Prove black holes. Prove that we live on a spinning blue marble. None of those have to do with the shape of the earth. The last one, if you phrase it in a different way, maybe, but the speed, uh, the speed and the rotation and the distances have nothing to do with the shape of the earth. You got that, Manny. You got yeah. that, man. Prove that the earth is flat. That's what you got to do, bro. Yeah, that, that's the fun part. I would like something small, simple, shown to me by Flat Earth. Flat Earth wants you to be able to go out to the Quasars and bring back a star, hand it to them, tell it its fucking name, and then then birth another star in your other hand. Too much. Like, <laughs> let's keep it real. I can't, Manny, I can't show you, to, uh, I can't give you ev or prove to you the distance to Polaris. I can't even prove to you the distance to the, I can't even prove to you the, the sun's elevation in the sky every day. I'm pretty sure I could if I really sat down and tried to figure it out. But here's the thing. There's a thousand other things I can do. There's a thousand things oh, you he, can do. Yeah. He, he got a real question in here. Where is the curvature? Oh, you haven't seen the curvature? I'm just going to refer you to Soundly. I got my own. But just look at the hundreds of hours and thousands of, of pictures and videos that Soundly put in his, in his footage. Check out the stream that he had live with. Uh, Jesse Koslowski measuring with GPS points mm -hmm. and then plugging it into the computer, the raw data from GPS, and it gives you the shape of Earth on, on that small scale. And it all adds up with the size of Earth that we, are, we have been taught in school and we've been presented with that you guys deny all about it. The what do you think about that? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's up, sir? Hang on one second. Did you guys just realize that everything had happened or are you guys just stuck in a conversation? I was like, where'd Sean go? <laughs> I was the whole time. Know, we just posted a link and when he clicked on it, I was like, you stinker. No, no, no. But that, I, I tried to warn you that if it may have happened. Did so okay. okay. My my I mean You said my, you'd be back though. I couldn't find I couldn't get into the link because I had started this oh, okay. one up. Um, <laughs> but was my icon still there or did it did it drop out? No, you were gone. Yeah, okay. yeah. My I apologize. I was I spent a good <laughs> ten minutes trying to figure out a way. To the point where I have my phone out, but my phone can't find the damn hangout because it's. Remember, this isn't the Sean G channel, and my hangouts go to the Sean G or my hangouts go to my Truth whatever blah blah blah, and oh, to okay. this to this channel. So like, where how I'm navigating on on the hangouts is confusing to me still because I'm using two different names. Um, well, we had a good conversation anyway. Well, okay. yeah, it was, it was you three, so you guys just agreed on some shit. So what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just kind of free flowing it basically. So I mean, we can, right any topic matters. Um, we're we're still we're kind of talking about. Um, or Jose was talking about the zero evidence presented versus you know Soundly's uh, evidence and why they won't take that. Um, I kind of laid out the lines of you know because. One of the people in the chat was saying, show us, you know, prove to me how far Polaris is and all these other things. And he's, he was asking too much. He's asking us to do too much for our means sitting in this, in this uh, hangout right now. Um, and I think asking that is kind of disingenuous. I don't think, I mean, do you really think that me or at the time it was just me and Jose, me or Jose know how to go outside and just start racking up numbers and tell you how exact distances from start. No, we're not, we don't, it's not our jobs. We never done that or I've never done it. So I can't, um, but there's a lot of shit I can do that can, you know, be more than enough evidence to know where we live. And that, and that's a, that's the other thing. Stop asking us you know, to prove shit. We don't want to prove anything to you. We just want to show you the evidence for it. Flutter. That's like the amount of money insists that we can pull back the boats when they disappeared over, you know, over the curb with a P900 and P1000, they dare to say that we are able to pull them back from the bottom yeah. up, bro. This is I have a challenge. You are pissing me off, bro. I don't yeah. want to swear, but it, I, it, it, never it, bro. I have a challenge on that. Then take your P900 or P1000 
and zoom in to the boat until it disappears. Then pick up a telescope that can see that can magnify it a lot better and bring that boat back in. Because that's what you guys aren't doing. You're not actually waiting for that boat to take to actually disappear out of your ring out of out of visual sight period. You're just waiting until they get far enough out that your eyes can't see them. And then when the camera does, you go, boom. Your eyes mean crap to that experiment. Your eyes are not viable variables. <laughs> and you know what? I can give them something. I can be flat or something. If you are all zoom out and you take a picture of the horizon and the picture, you can magnify it and look and there's nothing in it because there's no resolution on it. And then you zoom in and you are able to see maybe a boat and it's disappearing from the bottom up. When you're able to see it, take a picture of that boat that is missing the bottom part. And then zoom in more, take another picture, and see if that bottom of the boat that is gone is going to be back up, bro. That I challenge you to do. It's impossible because once it's gone, it's gone. No. You will never bring it back from the bottom up. Just well, as a whole, as a resolution, maybe some cameras are not able to pick it up because of the diffraction limit, the real, you know, it's gonna it's gonna get a smudge and you're gonna be able to resolve it but get a more powerful camera the boat is gonna be there but if the bottom is already blocked you will not bring it back because that's an impossibility yeah and and you're saying and i see it in the chat uh man it, it's it's not our reality it's everyone's reality the reality and, and you're and you are correct Manny, because Manny says math isn't reality. Math isn't reality. It's a t again another tool to help us understand reality. The language of reality. Thank you. Yeah. Exactly. What Jose just said was not very scientific. It doesn't need to be scientific. It doesn't need to be scientific. It's just truth. It's just yeah. a reality that we all can do. I don't need to be a scientist to see a boat when it's disappearing from the bottom up and grab him, grab me a more powerful camera and take a picture or a video, it's not going to come from the bottom up. It's not going to show the bottom if it's already gone, bro. I don't no, know. You, you made a statement that that would be the case all the time. Like, how do you, what are you basing that on? Because I have never seen a picture or a video of a boat that have disappeared from the bottom up. And I seen the, somebody grab a most powerful camera or telescope and bring in that bottom of the boat up with a most powerful zoom. How many cases have you seen? Documented. Present how many cases? If you think he has. How and many cases of those have you seen? I will say myself, oh, nobody 50. Has any, nobody has put any evidence of the bottom of the boat coming back no, up no. to view. Oh, oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. How many have you seen where that hasn't happened? That's what I'm asking. Oh, where? Uh, hundreds. hundreds. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll say, say 50. That's an intelligent thing. I'll so say that's 50. An exhaustive statement. How many times have you not seen that happen? A billion. I'm looking for it. I'm, I know I don't find any. How many Deep. times have I not seen that not happen? A billion. Yeah, all the but, time. I but, heard the claim made many times, but I never seen evidence. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 well, here, here's the issue because this is here's another thing that me and Jose are so wonderfully prepared for when we when we have these discussions. Okay, Sean, how much time would you take to find what Mind of God is saying happens? Me? Yeah. I, I was coughing at the first part of that sentence. What? How, how I don't much really say anything happens? How, what are you talking about? No, 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 about? no, no, no. Okay, okay. So you believe that when a boat goes out of sight, if you zoom in, it will bring the whole boat back into view? No, I never said that, man. What are you okay, talking about? Okay, so then what is doing that then, mind of God? I asked uh, Jose because he said he's quote unquote never seen something. I asked him oh, how, wait, many wait, wait. Cases did, how many cases um, did he need to know that quote unquote never is really yeah. never. There's a problem with what you I just said. Hang, 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 on, there, hang on, hang on. There's a problem, problem, mind of God, because uh, three streams ago, four streams ago, you sat here for an hour and a half telling us you knew exactly why and how to explain that observation. <laughs> so are you, do you know it or do you not know it? It's everything except Earth Curve. Obviously, we believe the Earth Curve. <laughs> everything but. Water can't bulge, so it has to be something else. Hey, hey, my boy Mind of God wow. is here today. We, hashtag, hey, minor. hashtag, we can do this. You guys have a yeah. problem because the, the thing that you think is blocking is formed by a bulge, which is non-physical. So that, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Okay, okay, let me get a worry in. So if you think it's not physical, it's not the curve, I can accept that if you present 
an evidence and or an alternative explanation which you dance around the, uh, to answer the question you dance and tap dance for over two hours and you never gave us an explanation i saw that i saw that show my god i saw it bro all right so jose you you piped up what uh size of body a uh, water body end to end will start producing a curve because we know it doesn't happen locally so according to your expertise and your scientific uh wisdom when does that begin to happen that we start to see water bulge okay uh i don't have any expertise or any scientific no, we know that i'm just pointing that yeah. out so now okay you, you, so locally water is perfectly flat everyone agrees on that so now the question is oh. what water whoa, 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 whoa. stop 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 oh, oh, really? you know we're doing we, you know we got you know we you knew i was gonna do this not it's not flat it's level no we can prove that it's actually flat local okay do it do it please, no yeah, just go in a bathtub and, and it's it is there's no, no, no ball you, you said large bodies of water so show me and and, 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 and here's the thing there is a possibility you can find it i just want to see if you find flat. no we need we need the the point the transition where what happens locally starts changing non-local when does that happen that's what i was asking jose <laughs> uh, we were Wait. talking about you giving an alternative explanation on why boats disappear from the bottom up before you jump in my throat and please let me get the thought out and they claim that boats, when they disappear from the bottom up, you can grab a more powerful zoom and bring them back to view as a whole. This is what we were talking about before you try to diverge and play your little semantic games and try to get this gotcha Jose moment. Bro. It's, not, it's not semantic, I'm just eliminating possibilities because it can't be a water ball. Do you see what I mean? That's what I'm getting at. Okay. So we have, um, to, then, we have to then look at what other things are going to do you, That's the whole point. Do you do you know what a swell is? A more uh, a more understandable phrase might be imperceptibly curved. No. Imperceptibly curved. No, you're not high not flat 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 on a local level. It's just in, imperceptibly. Uh, you know the word I'm trying yeah. to use. Sorry, sorry. Sure. You can't measure the curve on no. that small a, le a level. No. But when you get bigger, it's curved. You have to prove that. Okay. No, I can't. No. I can't. Can, yeah, can. you do. No, we don't, dude. Look, how how you can don't you understand? You don't understand shit. You, 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 we you don't have to prove anything to you. Water 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 water. And say it's imperceptibly it's curved. It's done and so proved. Back up your claim. Take a take a college course that backs back up my up your claim. That it's also the angles to border back up my claim. Circular star trails back up my. Well, claim. I'm gonna believe like everybody else with common sense that water at no, least. No, you don't have any hey, common hey, sense. Hey, I got hang on, hang on. My, 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 my God, can you see you the the, the number? No, 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 hang on. I do, do you see science? That's yeah. that. That's what backs my claim. Walk up. us through it. Walk us through hang it. Hey, my God, I'm not gonna take you to the history of discovery. Go with God, Hey, my God, do you see my my screen? Do you see where I have highlighted? Yes. Okay. Is that the actual number, or is that the number simplified? The scientific notation? Yes. What do you mean? What is that? Tell me. Is that the number? I'm assuming just by that... the fact that it's in that notation, it's rounded. So if that's what you're asking, yeah, it's probably rounded. Well, realistically, that number is going to have 24 zeros behind it, correct? Yes. Now, do there's, you think it makes... Stuff. Say again? Well, 21 because it's 5.972, yeah. but whatever. Keep going. But, yeah, whatever. I'm semantics, whatever. Okay. Do you think this equation that we're looking at right now is easier to, to solve like this or with the whole number written out? That's not an equation. Yes, it is. What's That's not this. Wait, wait. This isn't an equation? This is the it's equation to the mass of the earth. It's scientific notation. <laughs> this is the st equation for the mass of the earth. So, yes, it is an equation. So okay, again, no, I ask, no. I ask, okay. what, <laughs> which is simpler to do? Which way is simpler to 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 be able to find this number? This way, or having it all draw, written out all the way down? They're both simple. I mean, it's not that many numbers. And, no, it's not simple. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it this way. Well, here's the thing. What Sean's trying to explain to you is, is why would you try to measure curvature in your local area if they're going to be so minuscule? 
it's going to be that hard to do it. You so, can't say it's minuscule unless you it measure is. it, sir. I'm uh, sorry. I can. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's been measured. I don't have to. How? It's, okay. Like, how did people do that? Oh, with uh, GPS, with. Uh, no, on the local with, level. Oh, yeah. Okay. With survey equipment. Surveying equipment. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I do that. Then, no, no. I'm happy you said on a local level because that's, that's exactly local? that's that's exactly what I do. What's the smallest water body that's been been able to cough up curvature? I don't know. Yeah, you what? don't know because you guys don't know anything. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, okay. Wait, what's wait, the wait, wait, wait. what's the smallest amount of measurement you can make right now? I'm asking you. No, I'm asking can you. Can you verify that compression well, and compression or what makes it? Hang on. I'm not hang saying. On. <laughs> hang on, my God. Let, let him, I didn't make a stupid it. statement like that. There is no curve ever with water bodies, man. No. What do you mean? Wow. Um, you're quizzing me on your nonsense. You just made that. a stupid statement. You're quizzing right. me on your gibberish. You guys you're are the one who's an imperceptible curve. Yeah. No one is. Curve, my God, stop. My God. My God. No, you. We're asking you simple questions. You're gish gapping around like there is no I'm tomorrow. I'm back up your claims. I'm, I'm 100%. And curve. here's the I thing. Here's the thing. I really need, I want to clarify what's being said. So it is very understandable that we know we're not just saying it for nothing. And so we're, we don't, so explaining something to you doesn't make much sense if you're not understanding what we're saying or even worse, ignoring what we're saying. I'm not ignoring. I'm, okay. I'm here. I'm fully into okay. this. So the reason yeah, I asked you, wait, wait, wait. you say you say you're not ignoring, but we're still going to go back to these boats and you're going to tell yeah. me if you agree with the statement that if we get a more, more powerful magnification gadget, camera or telescope, we're going to bring the bottom of the boats back up. You are going to get to it, bro. No, there oh, could yeah. be a oh, fundamental yeah. limit in, in a modern day uh, optics that, that, that it's exhausted. It could be. Maybe we need okay. a next generation. No, 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 tell no, you no, probably no. the amount of money this because he's spreading this information and telling this bullshit. And all the flat earthers, they say they can see the bottom of the boat disappearing. Sure. And then you can grab a more powerful magnification and bring it back up. Tell your body that. that there, there are cases you probably can do that. I wouldn't and be show, hey, hey, show it. And if you can't show it, are, you're, isn't it more logical to say... You don't know what what is yeah, so that's wrong I with that? Jose to say he no, doesn't no, no, know. No, no, he's, no, no, he went through no, every single God. case. But he... Mind of God. No, no. Have, I want you are you consistent. saying it? Have you said it? You be consistent. I am being consistent. No, with him, he said he's never seen it. That doesn't mean it can never happen just because he hasn't looked at. Have it. anybody ever seen it? Have okay. anybody ever seen this or just a claim being made without evidence? That's would what you, it is. Yeah. Bro. Would you like to? This would you like to find out? Documented. Dude, yeah, there's a lot that. of people on both sides making claims just that are not real. So, I mean, and, yeah. And here's the thing. Here's the thing, mind of God. You're right. Here's the thing. You're right. There are people on the globe side that do experiments kind of shoddy. When I say right. shoddy, it's – Sean pot- He's listen, right here. Listen, listen. Sean's right here. He, listen. He stop. They may not understand completely how to run this experiment without having flaws or, or things that would skew – that the the observation that they're trying to make it happens there are globers that are just dumb outright stupid and don't really get what they're looking at and it's not really evidence but they present it as evidence themselves but here's the Name kicker to there it. sean give us a few names bud what no i don't need copy yeah, I'm, i didn't name. say yeah who are those globers that you're saying are clueless let's just list a few oh John Hawkins, he's here oh, on the f- panel. Fucking, I listen to fucking fight the flat Earth. Do it every fucking every debate, every single fight debate. The flat Earth has lied about so many tests um, that he's never done. It's obvious now. We and, don't even. And, trust and him at so, all. like he's I was saying, so like I was saying, it it's it's it does happen. But the, here's the kicker to it: when the Globers are doing this, I see it. I'll say something, <laughs> and it's only because they need to adjust and or fix or learn something. To figure out where they messed up in their experiment, whereas in huh. flat Earth, there you guys make your own boundaries, your own guidelines, and your own scientific method, and still not coming with evidence, but yet you're arguing like you have evidence in your pocket. That number you put up on screen was a number as well, Sean, not an equation. An equation features yeah. an equal sign. Yeah, we. He, no, he just, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. So that wasn't. The, that wasn't. Wait, wait that that wasn't. You're telling me that wasn't an equation. It's scientific notation. No. It's not. Then what? What? What is it? That's a number. That's a figure. A number. 
Okay, so then what did that number represent? The, the theoretical, I'm assuming it's not even precise like you were getting at because it's, it's not the exact mass of the huh? Earth, so it's the whatever, theoretical. No, no, no. I said that was the equation, to, fi I said that yeah. was the equation to, fa to figure out the mass of the Earth. That's all I said. I didn't say anything what you just said. Well, you were wrong, man. Uh, oh, the equation I? is something like W equals mg, so oh. that was just a figure. Wait, wait, wait. So if you, said, if you said, for instance, um, uh, 4 times 12 equals uh, 48, uh, you, that would be an equation. But um, you, yeah, the answer itself, 48, is not an equation. That's just the answer. The final figure arrives at. Well, actually, what you just described <laughs> is is a formula. But uh, yeah, okay. So um, go ahead and find this, so you can stop with that rhetoric. Um, again, that was the equation. Uh, equation. That's not an equation. What I said there, actually, four times. No, 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 no. What I'm saying, it's what an I'm, operation. The operation is doing it. The times is the operation. Yeah, but you get a final figure, right, as an answer. That's the mass of the Earth. Okay, so then you're telling me that that... Let's go back to it. Because I don't think you saw it. That's not an equation, though. I'm not sure with you. What is it? It's a figure. It's a, a number. Hang on. I'm sure hey, someone yeah, in the chat will tell me. Like, just change that to 10 kilograms, for instance, as opposed to that massive number. Okay, wait, wait, Because 10 kilograms would notation. what? It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry. Scientific, don't worry. We're, we're just, okay. So it's a scientific cool. notation. It's scientific so, notation, yeah. Okay, yeah, so, that's all, man. Okay, so does that's that make it any less relevant to finding out the no, mass No, but I don't like the point that you were making. We're way beyond that? that. Like, I don't what's, Wait, wait, wait. What's the point I was making? The point you were talking about simplifying it and how it's more elegant or something. Well, actually, it, Pete brought us back to this. But, um, yeah, it, it's... We're just pointing out. No, it's, it's okay, equation. man. That's just not the right analogy it's for what we're talking about. All right, let me let me go to a quick point in here. I got a question, not uh, not really related to this, but I, um, my, I'm the mind of God. I got a question for you, and this would be an easy, maybe yes or no answer. Maybe you can elaborate. Or I didn't like what you guys did to me earlier today, by the way. That's why I'm a little heated. But keep going. Me. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. So the question is: Are you able to present positive evidence? in favor of the flat earth that is not rhetoric or an explanation, maybe some kind of a video footage, citation papers on favor of the flat earth that is a very strong point of evidence or is all you got is questioning and denying the globe. And if I phrase that question wrong, please fix it, but don't go in all the semantics things because I got an English struggle to, to question correctly what I mean, but the question is, in a dumbed-down way, do, or do you have any evidence in favor of the flat earth? Please present it, or you just questioning the globe? No, I would say that from top to bottom, I know the deception can be taken place. I don't need to go down that road. So it's not difficult for me personally that it could be confused or um, made ball when it's not. Second, um, the spin, I think, is taken number one spot for me. It sometimes goes back and forth between that and water but spin for sure i know that we're not and then there's no compelling evidence to for me that i've seen and i never will that we are so that's the top one second one is water on the local level i know it lays perfectly flat and i have no reason to to believe that in in the extrapolation in a larger body that it would be compelled to 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 bend when it would be in my opinion less likely to bend when there's more and more of it so that is, uh, I would say, those are the three strongest reasons for me to be very, very comfortable in, in the so stance. Let me, let, let me re-ask again and recap this. Do yes. you have any, any positive evidence that you can present that the Earth is flat? Yes or no? Yes, I would say the positive one would be just the property of water. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 um... stop, 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 stop. No, 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 he asked you for evidence, and you said your idea of something is your evidence. That's not evidence. No, but we all agree on local. No, we, we do not, not all agree. Yeah, we, we don't all agree, and in. that's why we're here asking for evidence. If you and can't you measure just measure curvature of water guys, locally, you're doing it again. It you're you're literally be. doing it again. You can't. Pete, Pete, Pete right, stop. Hang on. Pete, stop. Sean, yeah, well, come on, stop. don't be ordering me around, Sean. Let I'm telling everyone to stop because I'm not going to allow this to happen. Mind of God. That is not evidence. 
Can you let me present answer evidence? Let me, you, let me okay, pick it up where Mind okay. God left off. Uh, but I want to know if he can or not. If he can't, just say so, I can't. Uh, not to be rude, but just give me an example. Even if it's in another domain, what would be valid evidence? Okay, let's 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 play new, the Sean. let's play the it. This doesn't matter game. So fictional doesn't matter. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna say that the ocean there is no curvature. You would have to say your evidence is as I have it. I have an image of a boat that's out of sight from a camera. I got a telescope and I brought the whole boat back into sight. That would be evidence. I would like to see or, that. Okay, yeah, lasers being shot from 25 miles. Fair enough. It's happened that's many times. That's what I said. No, but okay. <laughs> no, but if you want, if you want positive, like that's okay. That's okay, down perfect. The road. That's later down the line for me personally. Okay. But I okay. would, I would use those obviously. Hey. Then, okay, then, so, so let me let me get a call really quick. So you can present me that one whatever one ten laser evidence as a positive I, evidence in favor of the flat earth. What if I bring you? The documentary that shown uh, that this Hawkins guy with the wheelchair tested and they did in the documentary showing the laser and the helicopter was not seen until it was really high up. Will you take that as an evidence? When you were a flat earther, Jose, you would have called that fake, right? But let me no, get back to no, 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 I'm talking yeah, about Jose, you that that. Yeah, this is the luxury we have. This is why I like when you guys tell us the onus is on us, quote unquote, to, to prove flat earth. And I like that mm -hmm. because the luxury is. we have is, is one observation that only works on the flat earth destroys the ball. So I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm wait, going to wait, break wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. What is that one okay. observation? It would be yeah, one, yeah. one experiment that a laser is understood. Okay. 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 So you're saying let me, for the let future. Me finish, let me finish the answer before you jump in, man. I was just about to finish. If, if somebody, and not just him, but many people start doing that, where they shoot lasers and they understand the, the, the refractive conditions and all that, and they understand that it's not doing anything that it's uh, not supposed to, and it is honoring the flat uh, path, then that is enough to destroy the ball, and we have to start from scratch. Right. Yeah, let me um, get a chance to answer, because yeah, uh, this is the point ahead. I want to get to. So we go in evidence versus evidence. You present me this laser evidence to me, uh, the man of God made by a bunch of flat earthers on the internet, and but then right. I present you the evidence from the documentary on the TV that was made by one of the smartest guys in this century and the previous okay. one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, but Jose, 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 he can't. No, 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 listen, listen, no. Jose, he, he did preface earlier that it's it's for his experiment that he's going to be doing. He hasn't he hasn't done it yet, so I will give him that. Um, so oh. he, you, you said you, the laser test you wanted to do in the future. No, right? no, I'm, I'm, I'm citing all the people on the internet who've done oh, it. Oh, like, perfect. Cases, oh um, shit give us the links dog let's find out hey you do it? everybody it is flat fucking earth let's the do only this. reason i show how long were you a flat earth for sure how let's long were you a flat earth for jose the only reason Two i don't even do that is like i said i know the way water is locally i see it on the golf course i see it in the bathtub i see it everywhere and exactly. i have no reason to believe that it changes in the extrapolation that's my whole point and and mind of god let me let me just uh, back you up there because it yes, ties sir. in with water as well so of course i'll just say the same thing we decided that the earth beneath us was moving um if the earth is not moving then the ball wouldn't enter the equation because uh, of our universal experience with water at similar temperatures and pressures the water in australia is similar to the temperatures and pressures of the water in ireland here and water is flat this is the only I've ever experience with water um, um that's can you show me that can... aries failure then goes on to show that the luminaries the skylights are moving and not the earth beneath and if you're not sure about aries failure just uh type it in and familiarize yourself with and that. by the way jose i don't like the way you did pete and i earlier if, if you're going to talk about our mental health on on your channel and not have us there i i will absolutely uh I'll never come on your channel, and I would not. Jose is a coward, man. Jose is a coward, and guys, 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 guys. Hey, relax. Yeah, I tell you, hey, the Sean, way. I, I, like I don't remember what it was, but if you say I say something, uh, present me the evidence. If you got any, if not, you can shut the. Not you, your I'm panel, not, your panel, guys. So much. Your panel put guys. put my put my name in their mouth, talking about mental health without me that, there to defend it, and that Pete's name yeah. came up. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I was, cowardly. I was on, I was on. Jose's panel. I, we didn't say. I didn't say. Hear any of that. I, I I heard it with my own ears, sir. Was I there? Yeah. No, was I'm not talking panel? to you. I'm was... talking to Jose J G Gonzalez. I was on his panel. Yeah, let me say that because I will accept if I say it, and if I say it, I will stand strong by what I say. I'm not going to take back anything I say. Check your panel, though. It's not you. I didn't say it was you. I said you should. You oh, should okay. Then why? why are you calling me out for that? I, if, if someone puts my name in their mouth and talking about my mental health without me being there to defend myself, there's a problem, sir.
So you heard it, but you didn't click the link and join the show and defend I yourself. The thing I, was gibber jabbering, and then I, you were disconnecting every 30 minutes, and I put my comment down below, and it looks like the video is deleted now. We, we don't need to go to that level, sir. Let's stick to the, the shape or else. If we want to go down that road, it's a very, very different discussion. Very, very different. People's careers at stake, people's well-being, their, their livelihood. Let's don't go down that road, man. I'm just warning you. Why we do you bring it to, to my attention then? You don't want us Ooh, to talk You came politics. down this route, bro. You don't Why want do you to talk about politics or finance or religion. Fair enough. That's your channel. I respect that. However, if people put, start putting my name in their mouth and talking about my mental health, people have careers, people have families to take care of sir you should watch your channel i i, I have to you don't, I would like, all... you don't like us talking about this what do you bring it to the table now bro that's what we're talking I'm about warning you going <laughs> forward well, well, wait, 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 stop 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 guys hang on stop he doesn't like to talk about any of these everybody everybody yeah i i kind of agree with my to god i start i see exactly what he's saying um if if it becomes a group thing at least, at the very least, I personally like to say, you guys should wait till he's there so that he, they at least know that's what should happen. But at the same time, mind God, you can't really blame Jose for what his panel did, especially because, you know, sometimes panels become just that, a chaotic no, mess. No, 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 I have no issues actually with that. However, they're not being centered. Fair enough. They're allowed to go and talk about our personal, our mental health and make statements like that. Fair enough. However, when we go on, we we can't be censored either. I'm allowed to then talk about why I'm mentally sane because well, oh, there are oh, things yeah, going yeah. on with the government that we're yeah. questioning. That's a mentally if, sane if, person. I, no, no. If you, I, that's why I didn't stop you when you were defending yourself. That, 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 I, I agree. You have every right to say something. Every right. Or but change the, same, the title. It's not an open discussion. But at it's the same time, you gotta discussion. you gotta kind of give Jose the benefit of the doubt in the fact that you know, doing right right now, like I this is as good as this panel is gonna get. There are probably two or three people that if they got on right now, this would become the biggest shit show on earth. And that's just how panels work. So you can't give him. Here, can't here's put, my last point, Sean. Not, and I'm not yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, this is an argument. I agree with you. I 100% okay. agree. It's just how everything's happening right now could be different in that sense. But no, no, I see what you're saying. If someone says something about me, some you're damn right I'm going to bring it up. All I'm saying is people bring me up personal things. People have careers. And I like, like, and this is where I was respectful with Jose. He said he doesn't want certain things talked about to preserve his channel from an from a open platform, from a monetary thing. And I respect that because people deserve money for their time. I, 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 get I didn't that. say I, anything about monetary thing, bro. I, didn't, you know, I, say, I, didn't, I don't want to lose my channel. That's all I said. Don't okay. misinterpret me. Sure, Don't okay, fine. I, I retract the money part, but just to have the channel there and not have YouTube um, strike you, I get that. So fair enough. However, other people have a livelihood and things that they need to protect as well. So talking about mental health, when a person is not there to, to, to defend themselves or to talk it through, I just gave you a very, very strong and undeniable reason. You don't have to agree with it for why I believe the earth is flat. Water acts that way locally, and I have no reason to believe it changes in the extrapolation, and people have yeah. done laser tests that I'm comfortable with. What is mentally unwell about that? You are entitled to your belief. Thank bro. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's all I ask. I'm, you don't have to believe us. Brenda doesn't have to believe us. Brenda doesn't have to believe Aristarchus or yeah. Dodo. None of that. However, we have reasons for what we believe. You don't have to agree with that. That's okay. We're not, we're not trying and, to make money. Pete and I are not trying to make billions of dollars off of our views, of our uh, perspective. We're just sharing in what we think is a quote-unquote open discussion, but I'm starting to question that. No, yeah, it's all rigged. It's all rigged, absolutely. And Jose and Sean here should be more appreciative of a flat earth. Wait, wait, view, wait, right? wait, 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 wait. I'm not? Well, um, well, let me ask you, Sean, what was the biggest sort of persuader that kept you as a flat earther for two and a half years? And what brought you back then? What made you revert? Uh, well, what happened was, was I was, you, when you become a flat earther, your, your main, the first thing you're doing is literally looking for situations that science hasn't explained yet. And because I didn't have an understanding of the full crux of science like that, nitpicking made sense to me at the time because yeah i could find i can tell you right now i can list off a bunch of things that are issues that i have with science and i i was that's the, exactly why i did this show today when it you know the philosophical aspects of science because it is bigger look put this way i had this conversation 
with um with Barney after the last stream. He explained to me that a lot of the things I say on a regular basis aren't science like I'm talking like they're science. It's more of a philosophical aspect of it. And the reason being is because none of us are actually qualified to make these assessments that we're making here. I mean, we can. We all I'm can. Qualified, man. I, have have a, a, I have an engineering degree. Okay, uh, but have you, five have, years. You, have you applied that to anything that would be... That would, yes. Is, okay, okay. Yes, perfect. I did. Okay. And, and I took this whole notion seriously. I, mm -hmm. I didn't want to believe that the Earth was flat and stationary. Of course it wasn't. Of course it wasn't, man. So if you went in lily livered and we just followed the crowd because you wanted to believe something so strange and extraordinary, that's on you, isn't it? I certainly proved it to myself. And after due consideration, I will title myself a flat earther in a loose sense. We all respect you this earth, cliche. Uh, I don't believe you got an engineer, whatever you say. Do you want to put your money where your mouth is, uh, Jose? Oh, I already yeah, want a hundred euro bet from someone called Rupert Cow. So, Jose, let's see if you have any Costa Rican balls. Put your money where your mouth is, and I'll go on your show tomorrow. And let's see, uh, let's see who wins that bet. I'll show mine as well for a thousand. Uh, uh, all I say is I respect your opinions, Fiche, but I'm gonna pull a Fiche on you, and I will not believe you got any kind of degree unless. Right, you do you want to put some? Do you want to put some of your super chat on it? When I was yeah. on your program, when I was on your your program there a few weeks ago, you made about a hundred, hundred fifty dollars super chat. I will, put down I will fifty dollars. Either and, and if I win, you, I will like donate it to a like charity Fiche, of your choice. Fiche don't believe anybody because they got no names and no faces and no nobody yeah, has. Well, to do you believe you people have no names and no faces? Yeah, do you believe people with no names and no faces? Do you believe faces characters like Rumpus or uh, Brenda are honorable and above board? I don't. I don't believe anybody. I just take the information that is presented right. to me. Right. Well, you're after calling me a liar there now, man. Well, hang on. You're after right. positive of a right. flatter, and I got nothing to cross right. So you're after calling me a liar there, Jose. Put your money where your mouth I didn't is. Call you a liar. I say I don't believe you unless you present the evidence. I'm pulling it. Right. So put bro. your money where You've your been mouth is. People that they got diplomas and fucking certifications. Right. Put your money where your mouth is, man, and stop yapping your lips. Put bro, your money where your mouth you, is, man, because you you're uh, insulting me and you are um, questioning my integrity. So put so your money where your mouth is. You. How do you Jose, think people question them, bro? How do you think people feel, Piche, when you question everybody about their degrees and their and their careers, bro? What how do you think? Who did I question? Right? I question faceless and nameless people. I know there's antagonists. I know there's players put in place, actors. Do you think I don't know? No, but Jose, you see the difference with, with when we question like Brenda or Rumpus. They're, they don't say, okay, well, I'll, let me show you. We'll show you. It's not a problem. Like, we, I have my whole thing on my, on my channel. I'm Either not asking show. you to show it to me. Uh, if you want to do it on your own, I, that's up to you, but I will not believe it until you show I've it. I've done it months ago, and Pete would do it. We, we, that's I did it. Us. it uh, we, should, uh, mind God, I did it. I, and I already won a 100-euro bet from someone called Rupert Cow, who lives in Australia, I, I and he considered and he paid up the bet 100 I'm euros. Nothing, bro. I'm not doing this Shit. for money, and hope you are, are not either, bro. Why are you asking right, for money? Right, so you, you question my integrity, Jose. Put your, money Put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is, man. Are you here just asking for money? Is that what you're here for, to make money? No, as I just said, no, that's what you're here for. As I just no, said, no, I will donate, I will donate, I will get you to donate the money. I will get you to donate the money to a charity of your choice. But put your money where your mouth He's is. He's trying to clear his name. Yeah, what's, what's wrong with that? That's honorable. Jose, what's the honorable? Difference? Asking for money, just begging for money. He just said he's giving it to I, 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 Hang on, hang on. I will say, You're hang on, time out. Bag. I will say, yeah. in Pete's defense, he will give it to charity. No, no, I won't give it to charity. I get Jose to give it to charity. No, no, no. Right. I don't well, want you said, even no, well, you, well, that debate you said you would. You I don't want that even fucking money. But let the, he's after making an accusation. Oh, you're talking about, me, the, so you're talking about let's that. Let's prove money. it. Okay. Let's see how big he is. I'm just giving you my opinion. I don't believe right. you got any. So you call me a liar. You call me a liar. You put your money where your mouth is. I didn't That's say liar I ever. Came out of my mouth. You wouldn't call me a liar if you were here, right? But Jose, when when somebody says they have an engineering degree and you say you don't believe it, you're saying you're implying that they're a liar. I don't understand why you have issues with that. Just say he's a liar. Whatever. But the word liar haven't come out of my mouth. But it's the same thing, man. It's, it's semantics. Yeah. It's not the same thing. It's like it, flat and level. It's not the same thing, bro. Flat and level is not the same. Yeah. You got that wrong. <laughs> now so you're sure. rolling, and I find it that, funny. Yeah, a good segue. Yeah. A good segue to go back to flat earth. It's flat and level so is sure. not the same, bro. Keep the mental health of myself and, and anybody I else agree. off your channel. If you I, I, you know, I, I, I do agree with that. I, I don't think it's... I cannot persuade anybody. We all have a mouth. We all have a voice. 
I cannot tell what people can say or not say. If you start That's talking true. about this stuff, yeah, you can. To be to no, my no, channel, no, no. I'll you. That's all Jose, I can do. You can. You you prevented us from saying things, and we respect it. Now go to them, and like I said, yeah. if you agree with this, you. guys, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, stop. But you both are correct. One, Jose, it, it's on you to control your panel. It does get hectic, so you cannot control everything. You're not a babysitter. It's not your job. Here's but, the deal. If people come into but, my hangout but just, on the weekend, But when you say, but if you say, hang on, my God, if you yeah. say something to the group and it continues, it's kind of the whole, you know, I'll, I'll pull the hangout thing. I mean, there is, we as, as hangout um, controllers have that option. At the same time, it, it's, you got to be, by now, you got to have a thicker skin, my God. You are correct. Don't. Take that as I said. You're it's wrong. It's not a thick skin. It's not no. a thick skin. I just think. I just think certain topics. Are, and I and I, and I agree off with limits. This. They are off I limits. Yes. Again. So so, uh, Sean. Oh. I think. Every, I think every everybody with common sense would agree. Now that people's individual names are out there, then we have people. Certain people have a career, a livelihood. Now our name is out there. You know. And then if somebody goes to that video and happens to see my face, my face, my name. And then people discussing my mental health and I'm like looking for a job, even though I hate corporate America, but let's just hypothetically, I'm, I don't plan to rejoin it, but let's just say, you know, you have to, you have to respect these things. And anybody who hosts a platform needs to be aware of this. I'm not blaming Jose for this moment, or even if a couple of things happen down the road, I'm just saying, if you're going to have a platform like this and it be sustained on the internet in a public domain, you have to be aware of these things. And if you're not, then people like us and even possibly even people on your side it would be dangerous for them to go on that platform. Yeah. So it's a, it's a respectful mind, warning. Mind God, it's not a personal mind, thing. Yeah, mind of God, that's exactly why Rumpus says he remains nameless and faceless because he doesn't want to, uh, his interaction with uh, this idiocy to impact Correct. upon his Correct. professional career. I see, I yeah. agree. I agree that, that having yourself on camera does make a conversation a little bit more honest. It does, of course. But you got to understand, though, we're on the internet and, and there are – People out there that feed off an opportunity. No, no, Sean. I have no, I have no issues with calling me an idiot, a retard. He's dumb. He probably, he maybe doesn't have an engineer, even though I have my credentials. You could say it's faked, but you you can go down that road. But mental health and things like no, it's that, off limits. Me, yeah, it's off me, to me. It should be off limits. It's it it's not limits. right. It's not right because if I like just again, I'm not trying to harp on this. Wait, job, wait. I do look for a job. People can verify the stuff that I may be lying about, like my school <laughs> and all that. That's there. Like that's tangible. What? objective I but see my last my last opinion you know, on it and I'll, and I'll shut up for a minute i got my name and i got my face out there and if i make claims if i get called retard mental health and if people just say i've been in a psychiatric and i'm this and that i cannot control that i got my face i'm vocal i'm active on the internet if i don't want that to happen i will disappear off the internet that's my opinion thank you very much you got yeah. the you got the message bro but people aren't you should... But that's like uh, saying, but the whole point you, is that it's a flat earth debate. We go into those things talking about other things, and then you tell us this is a flat earth debate. So what does that have to do with flat earth, sir? You have to answer this now, Jose. What does that have to do with flat earth, the geometry of the earth that we're debating? You brought it to the table. You start talking about it. It's on you, bro. No, you answer the question. You, we get censored for things that you feel are not relevant to the shape of the earth. What does that have to do with the shape of the earth? My mental health. I, no I didn't bring this to the table. Mind you mind are the one that mentioned. You say, Jose, earlier on your show, I was watching this and this happened. You brought this fucking subject to the table. Answer yourself the fucking Sir, question. I'm if you don't want me to talk about you, topic, allowing that to continue, what does that have to do with the shape of the earth? That's what I'm asking you as the moderator. Why in the fuck did you bring yeah. it? Did you talk about it in the first okay, place? Okay, guys, 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 hey, 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 bro. let's go back to the shape now. Because if it's going to get like that, it's going to, I'll send it. No, care. I'm saying if but, my but, name uh, is yeah. in people's mouths regarding mental health, it's going to be you a different issue going 100%, forward. 100%, listen, listen, it, bro. mind of God, you are correct. End of story. Let's go back to this shape Okay, now. fair enough. I'm good. I'm done. Um, right. It, so, it, Sean, go back to you. Go back to you, Sean. This is what started it all off. Yeah, I considered this, and after due consideration, I made the leap. But you're telling me you didn't consider it duly, and you didn't know the original uh, model in the first place. Is that your answer as to why you reverted? Yes, yes. In a nutshell, yes. I didn't have an understanding. I didn't have a way to correlate everything to make sense in my head. So what was the biggest? So let's just deal with um, the biggest uh, persuader. Which that persuaded fork? you, and then you came to okay, overturn okay. that. Um, yeah. 
the biggest one, what I would probably say, it wasn't a big one. It was the, the culmination of probably six months as a flat earther, um, just doing nothing but looking for the, yeah. the, the unexplainable things that's, that the globe couldn't explain or the things that we were taught or you hear uh, on, you know, on a regular basis wasn't ha- as it was said on a regular basis. Those things, that's exactly what fueled Come on, Sean. Come flat on, Earth man. for me. Be more specific. Be more specific. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, gravity, once you get to the out to the galaxy um, aspect of it, it's, it's not the, as we talk about it. The second I knew that, it put things in my head saying, okay, well, is gravity real? So then I went down the rabbit hole of how I could possibly imagine something else being you know quote unquote gravity so i did a, i went a month trying to figure out how atmospheric pressure could and believe it or not atmospheric pressure has a lot of qualities that would work for your interpretation of gravity to a certain point Sean, not, that's the secondary you're, issue in relation to flat earth versus low birth though isn't it well there was, was gravity real gravity not and that's one of the big components yeah, of flat that's earth that's a down the line issue you you must have had a more pre- uh, prominent oh, 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 uh, point oh, okay. or issue. Like I opened my eyes and I just something clicked. My observation, yeah. my 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 uh, what I see when I walk outside, you know, my local area. Yeah, that 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 was that was the oh shit, it may be flat to me. That was when I went okay. Oh well, well, maybe there is something to this because why don't I yeah. see curvature? I, it didn't make sense. That was that was so, the that was the get me to flat Earth. Cru- that was the yeah. main thing. Yeah. So you would have learned you would have learned uh, in in the two and a half years and a lot more uh, than you did at, than you knew at the start and you remained oh, a flat Earth. So I'm asking you what what twisted you back or what turned you back then away from flat Earth back to okay. forget about what Barney huh? says. He's still uh, a back, flat to, back to the Earth it, again. It, it, it was. <laughs> it, it I know was, that they're all flat earthers. Do you think Jose God. is not a flat earther? It, it was. We don't, we don't buy. It, it. Okay. We don't okay. Buy okay. Your act or Jose's act. We don't buy it. It's oh, okay. Sean Hope can the earth is flat. Okay. All of these so now listen, 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 okay. I'm gonna, Let me answer this question now. Um, all the time, I will say I did a good year, year and a half, searching for answers to my questions. How do they travel in space? Because I believe space is real. How do they, or how, you know, how do they perceive this curvature that they're saying? I don't see it. I'm a great, I do surveying. I've done surveying. I do great checking. I don't ever account for a curvature. Those type of things really made me think flat earth is viable. But I also didn't realize all the in-between information I needed to really come to a real honest conclusion to what I believe is going on. And to this day, I'm going to tell you now. I can give you boatloads of evidence, but I cannot prove to anybody that we live on a globe. I correct. can't. Why don't you say that more? You're absolutely I correct. do. I say it a lot. I'm very honest about how I feel about it. You don't say I, it. No, I am very honest about how I feel about it. I believe, we, I believe, I know we live on a globe. Can I, can I provide enough evidence for, to anybody, myself? No. Correct. So we are mentally well to look into other options because it's not conclusive. Oh, yeah. Right? No, no, no. I believe that the reason we are as advanced as we are as humans, fuck what shape, is because of that inquisitive nature, period. Correct. So just, Correct. Sean, can I ask you, did you go back to um, evolutionary theory as well? I mean, did you leave that I was, behind? Uh, no, no. I was, I was always evolution. Ne- I've never believed in a creator. Even as a flat earther? Even as a flat earther, that was why that was one of the things that kept me always in discussion with flat earthers. I had more debates with flat earthers than I did with Clovers. I mean, because of that. you're friends with Dread. You're friends with Dread, yeah, 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 yeah. aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's I, still a flat earther, right? Have you lost? Uh, have you broken up with your friendship? He'd, he'd be a oh no no no. He's he's a flat, he's a truther that thinks it's flat, and absolutely not. That is my brother. That is oh, family very, to me. Foundation of atheism is non-causal. When we do science experiments, what do we start off with? Something called a causal question. Atheism, by definition, is non-causal. This big bang, oh, it's okay. non-causal. Your very foundation is non-causal, non-scientific. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Let's break that down. Why isn't it? Yeah. Why is? Because it? you're 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 saying that it's a statistical <laughs> event that occurred. It's a random yeah. chance that we're all when? here. When? No, that is the underpinning of the big bang okay. and atheism. Okay, okay. but well, here's yeah. the thing. 
the Big Bang, I've heard creation creationist scientists speak very highly of the Big Bang. No, even, but, if, even if God did it that way, he would be the cause of it. We, we cannot, cannot, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Wait, exactly. Wait, wait. It, breaks, it breaks all known laws of physics because matter cannot be created nor destroyed, yet the Big okay. Bang and everything contained within the universe came he, into being from nothing. But the big, no, the big Bang does not... Nothing. The Big came Bang, from yeah. A singularity. Yeah, the Big he Bang does not describe that as nothing. Everything came from a thought, which is nothing. No, but that's a, that's a different issue. Our ordered world is non causal in, in the atheist paradigm. See, when you say that, so, it's, it to well, me, hang on, Sean. I don't use. Oh, my bad. Go ahead, Pete. Go ahead, Pete. Go ahead. Yeah, hang on, hang on. So you, you say you were always a, an evolutionary man. So how did you, when you were flat earth, or imagine that the earth, the flat earth came into being? And surely you must have viewed all of the skylights or the luminaries I, in a different sense. Have you reverted no. back to that as well? And um, also, last thing, yeah. regarding NASA fakery, every flat earther knows that NASA Stop, okay. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Too many. Did many. you go back? Yeah. Okay, too many. <laughs> um, Ron, please evolution. tell me you believe the moon landing is a joke, man. Please. Uh, I, I, I do not. I will not say they landed on the moon. I don't know enough. I don't get it. Come on, um, Here's the thing. Not um, until you talk to Barry a bit more. You come back I, tomorrow. I, and they, 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 I never. Stop. Yeah, I don't. I don't do that either, Pete. Um, I never sat there and went. This doesn't make sense. I can't think of this anymore. So evolution never left. I, evolution made more makes more sense to me than reading scripture. Do I believe that they have anything to do with each other? Nope. Matter of fact. I would, if I believed in a creator, I would be pushing evolution because it fucking works. Um, and, and when it comes to uh, the Big Bang, work, when it comes to the Big Bang, uh, I would say that it, it, it couldn't have been nothing because something happened. So you're right. No, it, John, here, for all, hang on. For all we nothing, know, here's personal. the thing. John, all we like, know, for all we know, the universe was always is it behind that glow is more universe that we just can't see. We don't know. John, the person that made the people that, like the people that made you and the people that made them and all the way on up, there is a creator, dude. Somebody made if, all of this. If you're going to get that, if you're going to get that pinpoint, then my parents are, are creators. Yeah, and you, right. will see, you will see them right. again. And the, but you're going to be most excited to see the one who made all of this. That's hey, the point. But, but, but here's the thing. Okay, and I don't know if I asked you this. And so if... He created all of us. He, yes, we are a data then, point in his mind. Yes. Okay, but but here's the problem. I have, the issue I have with it. I can see him creating the first few, and then them doing their thing and in, and in, in increasing in population. But I know, and you know, our parents conceived us. So, at, how does that correlate with God creating me? Or you, and the Big or... Bang as well is a, is a term for the Big Fuck, right? And of course, in a, in a real sense, this is how we all came into being. So, well, for all we um, know, the, all we know, that Big Bang could have happened fifteen times, and we just can't see it. Before you were conceived, Sean, well, go ask your parents that, bud. Oh, no, no, I'm talking before any of us were here. All right, John, well, do you not? Well, do you and that's, that's also that's the other thing. The Big Bang I'm doesn't. Not... The Big Bang doesn't. Big Bang and evolution doesn't correlate to the beginning of anything. John, can it, I ask you a question, dude? Is it just hard? And I'm not trying to be rude. Is it harder to believe that, like, a, like a creator and a origin to all this, than kind of how much maybe easier it is to believe in the Big Bang? Like, what's like harder, like, uh, or easier uh, to creator. think about? A harder, it'd be harder for me to believe in a creator. Okay, no, good. And so, is that is that maybe why you lean the other way? I'm not trying to like put you on um, the spot. But, like, it, it it definitely does put me in a on a path. That doesn't look at that side of it. Yeah, Fair enough. Fair I would enough. say that. Yeah. Fair well, enough. Sean, let me ask you a question. Do you believe that the Masons and similar organizations have real power in this world? Yes. Right. Do you know? No, wait, wait. I, I, I'm not going to say. I don't know about right now in this 2019 as much as in the past because of the the, right. the technology and all yeah. that. It, it was easier then, so it's there. But I don't. I don't think it's under the same yeah. realm or power. They are. Yeah, they are privy to sort of secret or mm -hmm. information, but you know, one of the prerequisites for uh, becoming a Freemason is to, you must have a belief in a higher power. Now, it doesn't matter uh, your own individual choice, but you must believe that there's a greater purpose and a higher power uh, involved here. So you think all these people are, are stupid or they're, it's all a massive uh, fraud on that basic front when they're recruiting members? What do you think? I say, I, I think a majority just don't understand enough to be able to to come to the conclusion of flat earth or globe.
honestly. And, and no, I can no, say that I say, we're talking about a higher power. I'm a, oh, higher power. I, I fucking I apologize. Um, you have to believe in the higher. You have to hold that there is a higher power. And um, I know you know you can't you can't enter the Masons unless I, the, you hold the, that. And I think you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's that is definitely true. But for me, it's it's it. it, it matter of fact, it is the exact same situation as why how I became a flat earther. Right now, I can sit here. Take in the information I've gotten over the past two and a half years, and I can, I, can, I can conjure up the globe in my mind, how it works, the things on it. I couldn't do that then. I can't do that with a creator, so that's probably the biggest issue for me to believing in a creator. But why would you have you no know, humility? Why would you hope to understand the creator? Why would you... Oh, no, no, no. I, 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 yeah, would you... I don't Sean, think I... Sean, we're barely figuring out basic crap. No, no, on I, don't, I, don't, that, I don't... You know? No, no, I don't believe that I, I would be able to figure anything out about a creator. It's just in myself to hold that position in my heart that I, I not, just don't... I don't... I can't do it. You know, see, it's an amazing miracle that we can even communicate here now. Correct. Oh, absolutely. It's an amazing oh, yeah. miracle that goes far beyond mm -hmm. any chance. Oh, yeah, I mean, 100%. Brilliant doesn't mean we, we don't acknowledge him, man. I'm not trying to lecture to you, but just oh, don't no, no, use no. that uh -huh. as the main reason to not worship, you know, because think of think of an entity that think of even parents like humans creating a child. There is a certain amount of like work and effort and like care that's taken to raise the child. It's, it takes effort. Right. And obviously, if God is going to create, he would do it in a careful way and he would be do it. He would he would be brilliant. Like it's not simple. It's optics, the way he's hiding the curve for you guys in optics. He gave you a little gift. For that your atheist buddies, which I don't recommend you hang around, but he's doing this, man. And look how clever but, he is. But, he, gave but you, a, he gave you a ball earth and hit it in optics when he, we all know that the earth is flat. But here's the thing. What you just said isn't isn't is fundament, fundamentally untrue. I do I I don't think I've ever in my life tried to convince you of no God, find a God. Like no, I, no, I I'm not, I'm you know what I mean? But here's but but here's no no I know no. Um but but this is also what, what you did is you said atheist. And that's another thing in my brain I'm trying to figure out because I am, by definition, an atheist. I I'm am just not. You, all Earth implies, even though you're not doing it specifically, and I agree with that, and I'm, and I'm sensitive to that, some people are, but. Ball Earth implies, a Ball Earth is the underpinning of atheism, whether you like that or not. Yeah. It's at its wow. core, it's an explanation <clears throat> to God could be involved, well, fair enough for some people, but it is at its core. It is to try and explain everything around us as best as people can, and sometimes they have to add in gibberish. That but, we but, know but, but 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 there there are more globe believing are people that believe in a creator and the globe than there is flat earthers. Correct, but that number is changing every day. People are waking up. It's all. Well, I'm sure by one or four, but <laughs> it's 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 not. Substantial, no, like, not for everybody. It's it's a it's an amazing thing to believe that there's some boogeyman out there that made all this, but it's becoming obviously if water doesn't bend, we know that a creator exists. The question now is which one? But that that alone, people are are trusting that reality, and not just that. Many many other things are pointing to a creator. There's so many yeah. things that are complex in the world that cannot be explained. There's so many narratives unfolding in the world that you actually speak out against and i give you credit for that that even if you believe in one and latch on to one of those implies that there is a orchestration whether you believe it's plus one or negative one there is orchestration so do you and, think you're uh, smarter than every scientist to ever live the ones that believe in the ball yes pete and i are pete myself seek and find anybody who's a flat earther is not necessarily smarter yeah. than in terms of an iq sense but we trust our senses we know water lays flat and it does not change in the extrapolation well, I disagree with it. No, that's fine. You're allowed to, but we also um, don't buy a lot of the nonsense that you guys are spitting out. Yeah, and it's not it. as if we it's not as no, if we weren't I'll, aware I'll, of I'll all of what you're it. spitting out nonsense too. Yeah, uh, but it's not as if we weren't ball earthers, big blue, right? And I bet you I know more about the the model than you do. About what? I certainly know more about it <laughs> than Sean does. You, you look, you keep making accusations. Keep going. You guys keep making accusations. And then you go. I'm better than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not better than that. I said we. I said you, especially Sean. I certainly know more about the, the ball Earth model than you do. Uh, I certainly you know, was into science I, I more than what you seem to be. Anyway, <clears throat> you know what? You so probably have more. Yeah, we're just maybe. coming blind, uh, and we've always been flat Earthers, right? You we don't know. You don't know but, me, yeah. but you know you know more about it than I do, right? 
Yeah, and the, only, adventure. Adventure. the only the only reason you could say that about me is because I I literally stated that I I didn't know much about exactly. learning. So I more, but I meant more big blue uh, Sean, not you. Okay, I was gonna but... say because I was like, you don't know him. <laughs> How do you say that? No, that's true. But I do venture. I do venture to say that I know mm -hmm. more about the model but the, than but... uh, the, the vast majority of okay. All Earth but there's a difference though. You can know more about the model, but do you understand yeah. more? Ask me a question, Sean. Why you can you can know the answer? You've done this a thousand times, Pete. Well, it's that's about, what I'm saying. How are you going to prove if oh, I understand I, more? Oh, perfect. Uh, I would say you test me, right? I would say explain so and so situation, and then you would have to explain yeah. it. And you know that'd be that I guess would be the best way to right but, fact check someone's yeah. response to that. I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do understand that we 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 all uh, clung to the ball or the the evolutionary or the the big bang model or the heliocentric model at some point and we have um veered away from that path that's the point i'm making it's not as if we've always been flat earthers and hadn't familiarized ourselves with the alternative point of view so yeah that's not the case well then i would only ask why what's up with all the questions well i would only ask uh why are you ask me that question <laughs> Touche, motherfucker. <laughs> no, no, Miche, Miche. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's. Well, first, it's kind of far fetched for anybody to assume they know more than anybody, and at the same time, assume you don't because you know we are only in our own minds. That's true. Um, that's that's true. scientific to even talk about who knows more. The whole idea is that it's science, not it's, it's science not scientific. Science. It's not it's yeah, it's, yeah. it's, philosoph science it's philosophical humble. science though. Yeah, but science should be humble in saying that there is always one discovery that could lurk out there in the horizon. And there that are that and is undermine that every, is everybody's entire understanding. And I think that Barney and I we had a good conversation on this, and that is that is correct. That's why there's always only. Uh, disproving things fundamentally yes. that are happening. Huh? There's always mm -hmm. an openness, and I think that this is where we catch you guys in uh, nope. in disconnecting yourself from from the real foundation of what we should be agreeing upon <clears throat> the scientific study, and that's yes. we worry about that. Yes and no. Putting our I mental agree. health and these kind of things in the conversation is absolutely preposterous. Okay. We are here as checks and balances mm -hmm. to ensure that science is always honored because science is humble, like I just said. Okay, and I 100% agree with that. The issue would be criticizing our or criticizing the globe without you should welcome but, that you should want us to refine your understanding and make it thing. more precise that's what real scientists do oh no no, no. i agree. i love the fact that you guys do it because it does make me go look into things and and most of the stuff i know now is based on being asked and not knowing so i i 100 agree with what you're saying the problem i have is is that in the fact that you guys do that, you you you're you're not going taking any steps forward to ev to actual evidence. And when I say this, no, I'm saying man, I just told you, man. No, no, no. no, no. You have to look Sir, into the channels like, of people doing it. I can I can start. I'll start right now, and I bet I won't have find. Have you heard it. of Ranty Flat Earth? <laughs> yeah, the globe guy, of right? Gandhi of taboo conspiracy, Paul on the plane. There's so many channels. There's yeah, so yeah. much information. People who don't have a mm -hmm. financial incentive to right. just what they're showing, you know, You're what right. they see. Man. And Paul on the plane. Um, wait, 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 wait. Ranty Flattered is asking people to fund him to give me money to give him money because if not, he will stop doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, and he, he did yeah, say that. But, but Jose, Jose, I you you deserve money that because you're taking time out of your life. Ranty yeah, deserves money, mm -hmm. and Oakley deserves. People deserve it. It's fine. We have. I, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. There is a difference. Everybody deserves. No, listen. Everybody I'm can ask. For, yeah, I will continue doing content even if I got no money because I enjoy doing this. Ranty Flatter say I will not be able to do more flattered content and take footage unless you guys pay me for it yeah mm -hmm. he deserves it he's getting in his car no, driving no, no, listen listen gas guys and he deserves asking, support hey that. money donations is 120 percent fine great you Agreed. are anybody who go, comes on this for more than five minutes is taking time out of their life correct for for correct. the for this now yes. here is the kicker to it the narrative that is being pushed on these streams. If, for instance, here, 
if I were to say every single thing you guys always said was wrong and everything every Glober said was right, I'd be pushing a narrative, especially if I can't admit I was wrong or that an experiment does not depict what we are saying. Honesty. Trans- honesty is the key to money being right or wrong here on I YouTube. I see a lot of transparency on the flat earth side, man. What's Ra- what do you think Randy's hiding? What do you think oh, John okay. D's hiding? He's showing everything okay. he's doing. Okay. Nathan Thompson, Ranty, and Nathan. You tell don't me. Put, don't put Nathan in the same breath as Ranty. That's, a, that's not fair to Ranty, man. Ranty oh. is a, Ranty's an investigator. I don't know what Nathan is doing, honestly. Good. Thank well, you. Ranty's Thank doing you. it first. I Ranty agree. Say, if you guys don't, don't pay me money and monthly allowance i will stop doing flooded content that's what ranty did don't you see him e-bag in this land ranty, ranty's yeah, putting place yeah ranty's but, putting but, place but, in a different point of view on these characters yeah, 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 i honestly i don't mind that ranty does that yeah if you go to your job but, and they stop paying you what are you gonna do no i'll just i'll just keep but here's the problem here. here's the problem with ranty though because he does many observations where he will not cede to reality of his images based on nathan pie will jump in his ass for it and his content is contradictory because an image or a video is reality so what do you mean really? what do you really because 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 chris has been coming on here pushing that the reason we believe it's curvature is atmospheric or uh, uh, atmospheric optics and yeah god has given you guys and, different curvature and on the moon and optics that's I, why, that's why you personally, I personally have provided more than enough evidence to show that it is not possible to be hang on hang on sean that's stop it there. The only reason you say this curvature is because when you're looking at something at eye level at the beach over the water, you have to bring into your reckoning the spherical ball or geometry. So if you see something beyond three miles at eye level, you have to say, well, that can't be possible. I can't be viewing that directly because it should be gone over the curve of the earth. And I just say something, give me, give me one minute, because on the back of what you were saying about Ranty, right, you know Big Dread, right? Big yep. Dread made a, went out for a collection for a, a, a high altitude balloon yes, yes, he uh, footage. He, he took a big, he took a big lot of money in, and after a long while, nothing seemed to be happening, and then people were asking, what happened to money? Well, Dread mm-hmm. came on camera, and he said, well, I've just moved into a new house, and I had to take that money and pay a deposit on the Bullshit. house. Uh, Bullshit. And hopefully, Stop no, now. That, do not do that. Nope, it is not Hang on record. On. Pete, I was I'm going to tell you right chat. now. I was well, then the bring chat, it up. Man. Hey, bring it up now because I that. Let listen, I want no, 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 no. Let me finish. Nope. Man, I'm going to correct come. what you're saying because you, like I said before, I was there in the Dreads chat. is like family to me, and I've had to deal with this situation for the past year. And I'm going to explain well, to you let exactly. Let me explain no. to people, then you can come no, back in. Because right? I do not want anybody. Let me, getting, let me explain no. my side. I was there in the no, chat. No, I will. You'll do it after me because you are not going to give this false narrative. I mentioned for bullshit. I'm going to tell you right now. This is exactly what happened. He he made the collect. He started make. He started the thing for the balloon. Yeah. He came. Yeah. He got up to four hundred dollars of other people's money, and mm-hmm. then he put in five hundred. And then two days later, Matt or uh, Mick Vice t- topped it off with a three hundred dollar uh, uh, GoFundMe thing. And right when that happened, Dreads instantly went on because I'm gonna tell you right now. His wife did this live. She called the balloon place to find out how much that stuff would cost. You got the numbers for the balloon. They got the numbers for the inflation, for the the, um, gas. Sorry. And um, what happened was, is he was all gun ho. That's when he started giving dates. Then what happened is, is he found out (laughs) from another flat earther that, by the way, you cannot go get a balloon Fill it up with fucking uh, helium or whatever, and just let it go into the sky, willy nilly. You have to actually register with the FAA to allow them to kn- or to let them know you are putting a craft into the sky. That takes time. That's what happened. No, you don't. No, you, no, you how don't much you want to bet? That. How much you want to bet? Because I even looked there's it up there's myself. There's... I even looked right. it up myself. And then this is the other oh. part that happened. So what Dreads did when everyone started bitching and crying, you know what he did? He on his live stream, he said, hey, anybody who has put money towards this balloon, let me know right now. Email me. Hit me up in the back chat. Hit me up at any point in time from here on out. I will give you your money back. And guess what the fuck he did on the live stream? He gave people money back. Do not make it seem like he got at that house 
with no, but it, five. Right, but, right. No, no, so you do on, not, let me do talk, not, right. okay, thank do you, not Sean. assume right. he bought a house with four hundred fucking dollars. No, no, I don't. I didn't say that, right? So yeah, you, you said you said you had to put that money down on a deposit yeah, for the house, and that's not true. Right. So I didn't. If you let me finish, this is what he said. He said when people start asking him when is the balloon launch going ahead and all this, he said I have no money now. Right, uh, because I've spent it all on the deposit for a house, okay. and I saw that I, I was there he on said, the hangout, right? He said he did not have the money because he yeah. put his money into getting the deposit of that house, and that was at the same time he was giving people back their money. That's why he so said he guess- that's, that's why he said I'll give you yeah. back your money if you want it back. So no one but thinks he's- I used their money to buy this house. That's why he did it. But that's a more that's a very much more suspicious story than let's say Ranty's story, which you were you were knocking there a wait, few what? seconds ago. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, what? I didn't knock it. I just said Ranty could do whatever the fuck he wants. No, my problem was, with Ranty. Yeah, my problem okay, with Ranty sorry. is oh, that his go. narrative doesn't change. No matter what observation he gets, it has to be flat. That's my issue. Because it is flat, man. No, it's not, my friend. It's not. It's absolutely it's flat. And when you're looking at an image of a boat disappearing that you shouldn't be able to see over the horizon, as I said, you have to assume that that horizon is a fixed distance according to the height of the observer and according to the spherical earth if geometry. A... If you don't assume that, as Rumpus should what? be doing, I've asked Rumpus to produce, you know, the, you know the, the, the extreme detail he's went into in trying to explain these, let's say, the turbine, Ranty's turbine. Oh, my fuck. I've hey, asked him, I'm going to tell you I've right. Him, hang on, yeah, Sean. Yeah, stop yeah, interrupting yeah. me. You're, you're right, right. You're, that was just the thought. I've Sorry. asked him. I've asked him, Rumpus, put this same amount of effort in the true scientific sense into a flat earth scenario so imagine that you're looking at these turbines at full distance and what sort of results would you get from there do you, do you see any any of that sort of work no you don't man no okay. you don't so no, I, I did, and, but i did that i did exactly no, that no, I dean was that one time I dean was honest with me one time and it's rare to get this kind of honesty but like i asked him when did you become an expert in doing optical analysis over 15 mile flat surfaces? No one has. Who's done that? Where's the funding for that? No one, none of these people are experts in flat surfaces. Yeah. So how do you know how to model over what, what Pete is requesting, rightfully requesting? Why don't we use an unbiased approach and approach the problem and looking at different geometry, just even for intellectual curiosity? Isn't that yeah. what this is all about? Because yeah. that yeah. everything will be explained very easily, mind of God. Everything will be explained very easily. You are 100% right, mind of God. But the problem is, is that you come to the conclusion that we measure this as a ball. You accuse- No, Rumpus admits that. Rumpus admits yeah. he presumes presumes a ball. Yeah, okay, but guess what? I've said this a thousand times. Rumpus don't speak for no one but Rumpus. No, fair enough. No, we get that. Yeah, that's fine. But Who is Rumpus? Have- what a name to call someone, Rumpus. Right? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, Cody, I, Liley, Sly, Sparkane. Why do you guys pick these names, man? My name is Sean G. My name is Sean G. Pick a name all like actors mind of a name, name, right? The name is everything, mind of God. This is how they feel their, um, their true intent. <laughs> I, just, I just realized it. Hey, hey, Pete, mind of God is just as bad as them. <laughs> Well, I don't know Mind of God personally, no, but um, everything yeah, but I've seen from him has been honest. No, you're, you're, you see my screen? Uh, no, but his statement is very, very valid. And, this and is it's from the distance. <laughs> Go ahead. This is from the distance, and I can, it's a little bit of a blur, you know, in here, but I can see kind of a boat in there. Let me hit play. Let me pause it right here. Appears it's like a big cargo ship, and it's like missing from the bottom. I wonder what happened if they zoom in a little further if that will bring the bottom of the boat back up into view let me see oh wait a minute i wonder if they grab a bigger telescope or a magnification device to bring it back up uh he doesn't do it but i really doubt it because how are you certain you're not seeing the bottom what if the bottom is there but it's like a mirage or what if you actually are seeing the bottom yeah the water was perfectly well still how do you know that maybe like this Maybe yeah. the boat is like this, like four sticks floating in the water. <laughs> is that what it is? Pads or something. Got a little stick sticking up out of the water. Maybe, okay, no, yeah. but I'm saying you're making a yeah, statement. Right. You can't see the bottom. I'm asking, how are you saying that? Like quantifying it. That's our whole point. Wait, what? How how oh, are you I, quantitatively I stating that oh, you're not seeing the bottom? I'm looking for here. this, like, uh, because we know that that, oh, that uh, boat. This one is easier. I would say there looking it is. at it is good enough. This one is That's, easy. Yeah, give us the distances. Hey, 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 okay, hey, 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 stop, stop. Here. Everyone stop, oh, stop, stop, stop. What Jose is showing right now will be the best evidence on this 
on this live stream. Why? Because that is the Dazza man, the Dazza the cameraman's footage. It's, you no, know what? Your best yes, evidence is. involves now, water. Listen, you ready? And you, you ready this? Really you ready this? You evidence. ready for this? You ready for this? All right. Dazza, the Dazza man yeah. sent me every bit, every bit of data for these observations. I guarantee you one thing, Sean, that the, the boat that Jose has shown there should be, according to the spherical earth geometry, invisible, should be gone no. behind okay. the curve. No, right, now, right now, we see the whole boat in here. It's small, but I wonder, and then I can see in here kind of a little structure. I wonder what that is. Uh, this might be a boat like this. Maybe it's too far away, and I can zoom in and bring it yeah. back from the bottom up, which it appears no. to be gone. So let me let me zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, that's the best let part. Me I've done this down with... And it, see with People on this oh, panel, they won't see. Do zoom it. in a little more, but it's still, it's still disappearing. Let me see. You, wow. Mind of God, you remember when I did this, right? When I showed you guys the zooming in and back and forth. I zoomed out. Yeah. And in, zoomed out, and zoomed in. How far away is that boat? If we're going to go into the analysis, fair enough. We have, we're open to that. How far away is that boat? Yeah. All right. Brilliant. Hey, How about that? Look at that. For water you. Is flat. Don't worry about that. Any here, of mind of God. Don't worry about that. If, yeah. the, <laughs> if the water is flat, why is any of the boat missing? I can explain that. Forget about how much of it is on my channel. Is any of it missing? I, I've shown, I can explain I that big blue. blue. Yeah, I've, not I've, I've shown obstruction bottom up on a flat surface like many of us have. It's no, very, very... you did not. Uh, you can't <laughs> you do didn't. that. You know the thing is, no, I really can't. don't need any mat. I don't need any distance. I just need to look at this. I say something is going on. This boat up here a little more fuzzier. So it implies that it's further away and it's missing from the bottom up. I really don't need any distance. I just look at it and I say, where in the hell is the bottom of this boat in the left when I'm seeing the whole bar, the whole boat in the right? And as perspective, this dictates the object, the further away, the smaller it appears to be. So yeah, this is perspective taking place. The further away, it appears to be smaller. As we can see in these two little things, it's bigger in here, closer. It's smaller in here further, but the further it goes, is missing from the bottom up. That's really interesting. Now, right? actually, if you look at that boat here at, at the surface, uh, Jose, this you boat is in, in the, the bottom. I don't understand. Yeah, hang on a minute. Hang on. Go back a tiny oh. bit. You can see a okay. mirage layer here. You can see with the first boat a mirage layer. Do you? Do you? Can you um, identify it first of all? With the, yeah. Let me see. If you zoom in, you can see a mirage. A mirror. A mirage is just a, a, a fancy a portmanteau for mirror image. And of course, we're dealing uh, with water, which is reflected. okay. Now here's the problem. Look at the so, front. There is a mirage, right? Look at the front of the boat. Guys, yeah. guys, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I, again, I've done this, this. This, like, my God, I'm surprised you don't remember this because this is the exact one that started all this boat stuff here on this stream. Um, I, this is the one. A, a uh, car, or, damn, uh, Jose, let me share for two seconds real quick, just so they can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, what I have. Um, keep yours up though, because I, I like your your view. So, but Sean, going. you guys because have. I was trying. I was trying to find these boats going from behind the curve when they disappear from the bottom up, but all I found was this kind of footage like this. No, no, yeah, we've you've never seen time. you've never seen uh, images of things that, that shouldn't be seen according to spherical ballers. Then all your time as a flat earth or an honest man. Jose is an honest man, everybody. Okay. No, but so, you know, but just uh, Sean, in my example in my apartment hallway, you can see my feet for seventy five percent of the journey. You guys have to believe in the last twenty five percent. There's two or three inches of curve you down. There, do right? not. Your hallway means crap. You know, but you street. can see my feet. For Don't maybe talk about man, a man's yeah. hallway like that. Sean. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I made it myself, okay. man. Come on, mind dude. Mind of God. The mind of God. God. Flat. Yeah, your hallway oh, is you not sufficient. But just to confirm, just to confirm, you can see my feet for maybe 75% of the journey. You believe the last 90. 5% of my hallway has two play, or three hey, inches. Play it right? now. Yes. Play it now. Absolutely. 90 at best, and you still see your feet. Okay, let me play it. Let me play it. We'll all watch it together. Yeah. Why, are you, why are you playing it? It's stupid. It's fake. Why, look, why are you playing? Oh, look, look. So Sean check this out. CGI? Sean just said it's CGI? No, no. <laughs> fake. You fake an experiment and you're lying about it being flat. <laughs> you fake the whole thing. Like we, we want you guys to be the conspiracy theorists. I find that funny. So, I mean, I put uh, my... No, no, media no, fake no, no, no. Yeah. I, 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 would, I would say... I would say... Hang on. Hang on. I would say... Mind of God didn't do anything fake. He of just doesn't not. understand. No, he not. just doesn't it, understand it, it, how to true. interpret what he did. It's come on. With a name like Mind of God, it's a lie. I can't, I'm not Mind in this for God. the money, man. It's not. It's so, okay, let me share my screen. 
Let me share my screen. We were having a good convo until Sean piped up. But anyway, right, it's a lie. <laughs> Stop. Lester, Lester not, Hawkins. I, 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 yeah. Look, I, that's his opinion. I personally don't think it's a lie. I think it's a... Uh... It's not a lie, dude. It's my it's my apartment hallway, man. It's no, no, right. but, but lying but, about the floor being flat. Yeah, well, you, no, you guys yeah. are saying the last twenty five percent of my that. hallway gets down two inches. No, no. Okay, you say that we're telling you that your floor has nothing to do with the curvature or flat. No, I'm of telling the you that it's possible for objects to disappear bottom up on a flat surface. It's not a flat surface. Right. It is impossible. You do that. Your floor is not a flat surface. <laughs> okay, my hangout is on the. It's giving me the the circle. Well, hopefully it doesn't crash, but if I crash, I'll 30 seconds, 30 seconds to apologize with everybody in the panel. Sean, uh, Sean G, Sean Hawkins, you can find Shay, Rashes RC, the man of God, and Big Blue for being jumpy earlier. For some reason, I got like the buttons with the right buttons were pushed and I got triggered. And I find it amusing for myself that I come in hot like this. If it's because in my show, I don't do it. I don't do this in personal life. I was holding a lot back, and I really want to apologize. This is really not me. I just had to freaking just release it hey, for a moment. But I'm no way. Now. It happens. No and, I'm gonna tell, I really and I'm, and I'm going to tell everyone right now, it, don't be, be sorry, obviously, but it's going to happen. And I'm going to tell you right now, <clears throat> I, and I've told a lot of people this, I mean, I'm going through, my brain is going through a really fucked up part right now based on the fact that, like, you know, the trusting thing between people I knew, what's going on, the frustration of things I know now that I didn't know then. It's like, there's a lot of shit, that, and, and I know a lot of people may think this is like victim cry or something, but me and Jose, we're in a spot that none of you guys really understand. We don't even really yeah, get I, it, but I, it, it I, is I, something I, that's going on, and it's not, it's not something that like everyone's going to understand that when we do this. When I blow up, like I've already said, I, I blow up, I get triggered easy as fuck. But I, if you can apologize, like I need to do with Chris, and I, you know the times I've gone off for no reasons that weren't necessary, those aren't the normal me either. The, like this past three months for me, it, it's it's been hectic, man. It's not it's not easy at all. Especially then you're also trying to keep this thing going, like you know truth and what do I understand? But then you got to defend yourself, defend yourself from fucking strangers who don't even know you but think they know you. It's you got to give but you got to give him the me and Jose a little bit more benefit of the doubt on it, um, because I mean, again, I, as far as I can tell, he's just as apologetic when yeah. he knows he's done something wrong or is wrong as I am. So I am, I, 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 yeah, I, yeah. So I, I wouldn't hold it personal I, I to anybody. And uh, now, uh, Piche, personally to you, I really apologize. I didn't mean to call you a liar, which is. True, I was implying that I was playing this game because sometimes your approach seems like that, but I apologize. It, I didn't mean to call you out or nothing. I apologize. I mean, that's not my style, and I shouldn't try to mimic others, their approach to try to be yeah, to get a, a reaction. I really apologize on that. I, case. And the man of God, I really, yeah. really apologize, the man of God. I didn't mean to come in hard on you and tell you to go fuck yourself and don't come to my channel because uh, <laughs> you are appreciating my channel. I like you when you go there because you bring you bring knowledge from your point of view and I like the interaction. So I really apologize to both. My only issue, and, and this is our issue with George and, and the whole thing in the past, don't bring people's live. Don't allow people to not make money to feed their family and themselves. That's where we can't go there. Like everything else... I'm an idiot. I'm a retard. I look stupid. My voice is annoying. All that stuff. I'm a troll. I'm a, all those things are on the table, but don't do stuff like that. It's just, it, then it That's takes all the internet land. And, and I'm not saying you did or, or you personally at all, but I'm just saying as a, as a discussion, we can't do that. People, not me necessarily, but like people have other people to take care of. We can't do stuff like that. I, I agree. For my part, uh, I don't care. I'm, I'm the things that have been said about me and my family, be, just for me being out for yeah. truth, uh, unbelievable. But that's fine. It's like water off a dodo's back to me at this stage. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I will always be honest with you. You're crazy. You're like the crazy uncle sure. I will smoke any day of the week with. You just know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the same yeah. man I know, but, man. But the, the way people go personal at you is a fucking joke. It is so fucking ridiculous. Yeah. It makes me want to flip out. It's and it, and they, there are certain flat earthers that I know of that certain people go to attack. And that's it. They don't even give a shit about the shape. They just want to attack these people. It's so pathetic. It's pathetic. 
Yeah, and most of those people are, are faceless and nameless characters, but that's fine as well. I was just going to mm -hmm. say, to mind of God, um, and he'll appreciate this, I feel sorry for genuine uh, people, uh, genuine spinning ball earth, because I really do, because I think the truth holds something far more wondrous, you know. Correct. You know, there are plenty of, people, uh, plenty of people acting their part within this arena, but for those genuine people who do believe in a spinning ball uh, and uh, believe that people the opposite side of the earth are <laughs> upside down to them, I feel absolutely sorry for them and it's an actual insanity that's how i look at it now it's an insane uh, way of thinking it was yeah, so it sound personal the attack i don't mean to be personal it's just the argument this is the hell out of me and it can come yeah. in across just on my little english uh, uh struggle you know trying to get point across a little more subtle i might come in like really this might come in disrespectful but i really don't mean it personally it's just oh the argument but i appreciate you all and i respect all of you in this panel and everybody likewise everyone. likewise my friend everybody. next hangout i do jose i'll show my uh, qualifications again and i already did it before as i said yeah, it's a 100 euro bet i actually know for a fact he is an engineer because he, i think a couple a year and a half ago so it was an issue when he was on the panels and i remember him talking about it I, yeah, not to be rude, but some of us flat earthers will run circles around you guys. Pardon the well, pun. The and funny part is, rude, is at the same time. We run circles around you guys in the, the academic arena. At the same time, I don't have an engineering degree, but I guarantee no, you, you that. No, 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 no. I, but, but I guarantee you, I, I my skill level in, in the surveying and the grading is far, far surpasses most people that I've met with degrees. So, I mean, it, that doesn't always play the part in in what you know and don't know and capable of and not capable of, it's just kind of like a, a, show, a social helping. You know what I mean? It helps other people think you're better. Absolutely. You know? That's all and it really I, is. I would, I would have my son out of school in the morning and I would recommend nobody go to university or college. Anything you want to uh, learn, you can learn it yourself off your own right. back. You only end up in the system, um, uh, you know, being brainwashed into a certain way of thinking and behaving when you do go through this uh, horrendous system. That's yeah. what I say. Make your own way. University. Figure shit out yourself. The fact that universities need take in so much money on top of invest, you know, people that contribute. It's on, a scam. Everybody on knows it. Top of the yeah. sports. That is the biggest. But I talk about fossil fuels and geoengineering. That's what we need to be talking about. How fucking college kids make colleges millions of dollars a year and they get yeah. zero. And they still got some of Damn. them still have to pay. For school where where are all the university engineering departments talking about the impossibilities of 9 11 you don't hear Correct. one one Correct. one uh university anywhere talking about it and that brings me back to you sean well, as well do you hold that media fakery uh, no. and media fake news story events no. i believe or, i believe or, it's a false 9 11 was a false flag i only get triggered because you know, our our differences in opinion of it. Um, I, I don't like having to defend my view versus the view you have. Um, the media, Not necessarily nine eleven. Media, no, no, yeah, 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 media yeah, yeah. Events in general. Um, in general, no, I don't trust the media at all. We know for a fact okay. that they yeah. they run a script. We know for a fact that of a hundred news organizations, they're owned by three. Yeah. yeah, I have there. There are stuff I have documents of uh, NOAA. The National uh, Ocean Re Weather it's the weather weather people you guys know who Noah is um, they they released a gag order to all meteorologists all meteorologists stating yeah. not to talk about the fact that they're they're given um, a daily manuscript um, the operations that they were doing um, it was a controlled demolition. No, no, we're yeah. talking about something else now. Um, yeah, you're talking about the, yeah, the yeah, trailing. Yeah. I rang up the yeah. Irish meteorological, uh, and I was talking to somebody, and eventually I got them to admit, yeah, they knew about chemtrails, but they can't talk about them. Now, chemtrails, I don't like that loaded term, but yeah. there is a practice going on. So, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I won't up. use it. I won't use chemtrails anymore. It's because it's been Have it all wrapped up, and you see, this is why they have their people put in place to carry the line. Right? I stopped using so, chemtrails when it really started making my hair fall out. Yeah. <laughs> But, yeah, all right, guys, I'm going to be yeah. here for a little bit, so uh, I'll be going live on my channel later tonight if anybody but, wants to join in. Are, soon but, uh, or, are you going to be going sooner or, or a little bit later on? I'll be leaving here in about 10 minutes, bro. Are, are you going live right after? Uh, I'll be going on probably about uh, 
what time is it now? Seven o'clock here, probably about nine, ten o'clock U.S. Central oh, oh, time. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I'm gonna I'm in that wrapping up phase, and if you were going on right away, I. I just send everyone there, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put your link out there. Matter of fact, I think your link is in my description. If it's not, I will be by the time we're done. It's Pretty a wrap. Sure it's conclusive. We're we're not spinning. God exists. He he is the creator. He's brilliant. And um, let's let's move forward. We're this this ball Earth is constipating um, our intelligence. Uh, it's limiting humanity hey. uh, and what we can do and what we can explore. There's so many other questions we need to ask. In the mind of God. Spiritual I have an idea. Um, tomorrow. Would you be interested in coming on and talking economics, structure? Sir, we can go deep into stock buybacks. We can go into. Um, I would like to. Policy. Matter of fact, we can do all these if, things. If that is the case, we uh, look up the carbon market. Okay. So, and it's, and it's sub- fossil fuel subsidies because I, I have a, a very good knowledge of it. But because oh, you have that, do you believe global warming is a flat Earth proof? Because we live in an enclosed. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Hell no, um, no, I, I, I don't think it. First of all, it's you're, you're getting good when I try and trick you, man. You don't even hesitate anymore. <laughs> no, I, I don't even like stop. Okay, fair enough. Global <laughs> warming is a flat Earth proof. Because yeah, we yeah. In, uh, we live in an enclosed. Where in the hell does that come from? Hey, I. That's why I like my to God so much. Because, because, like, there's just how can you not. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. If, 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 awesome. the, if, if it's created by us humans, then obviously no one would argue that more and more factories have been made. You know, in the industrial I'm, revolution. I, hey, I'm not gonna lie. If I was running for office, flat yeah. Earth or not, mind of God's my fucking campaign manager. <laughs> Dude, we've I've been using we've been used our whole schooling is BS. So we we all of us have PhDs in BS bullshit. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, we all, we're all good at it. You know, some of us just walk away from it. But it, it's we knew. We knew everything as children, right? We were just uh, born into a foreign land and taught a foreign language. Now we have to remember, put things back together again. And this is by asking the very basic uh, questions and working that shit out yourself. Simple as that. What happens when you do that and the globe works? The globe doesn't work, man, but, you know. it does. I'm sorry. That statement doesn't make sense. How about this? The globe may not work. The globe may not work for you. No, but flat thing. Earth, no, no, but, but we know flat Earth. Earth is but we know it's flat Earth doesn't though. work at all. Uh, there's it's nothing metaphor. about a flat no, Earth. Just, 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 you, guys, you guys are familiar with Venn diagrams, right? Let's say you have the flat Earth and the ball Earth. Are there some intersection points that can be understood in both realities? No one would argue that. Only However, a, once you wrap, once world, you wrap that flat map around the globe like it's supposed to. No, no. Let, let me just finish my analogy, and then I'll then I'll finish up. So, uh, in a Venn diagram, you can have intersection, right? So, if you have a flat Earth and then you have a ball Earth, are there observations that could be possible on both? No one would argue that. They're, that's just a geometric fact. However. Are there things for us, and I'm not trying to speak for other flat earthers, extremely compelling to not allow that maybe minor intersection to compel it to the other side? No way. There's no way. We're not spinning. Water cannot bend. Yeah. It cannot. It's it categorical. Okay. Well, I have a question. We can know anything. We can know that. It does bend. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. That's where it is. Yeah, I was going to say, is there up? You guys, you do still hold the, the, the idea that you could be wrong, correct? Of course, but we know that these fundamental things. You don't know. Are, no, no. You, said, you just who said we. No. Who, who do you keep saying we? Because ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the people on this planet are not we. But we, I mean, both most flat earthers, I would say, and I, and I think we're all well. Most we, flat earthers are dumb fucks. No, but I would say that the the two things that people probably will just think about the most and be the most sort of cer- cer- certain of our uh, reality is that the spin and the, and the water not bending. I mean, we, that's, yeah. well, that's why your we, reality. That's over. Your reality is no, that's not our reality. That's reality for everybody. You guys would agree. No, it's that. not. No, it is not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It is absolutely not. not. We can demonstrate the spin. We can demonstrate the curve. One at a time, guys. Oh, One at a time. Okay. Honest ballers will say on the local level, what I said about water is true. And then they'll say the spin Correct. No, it we won't. Like we're spinning. No, we're not. They would admit that. No, no we won't. will not say that. No, we other honest not. ballers, not you. Other no, ones. No, 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 wait, wait. I won't say that. I'm no. honest. Other, other honest ballers have said that. Yeah. Who? Lots Ooh. of them. We asked them. We asked Carlos, what did, like, do you, gen- do you at least agree with us that it appears flat and, and uh, stationary? And he's Locally. like, yes. And we're like, okay, help yeah. us ask that. And then, like, then he went to angular size of the yeah. sun. Can you imagine? Yeah. Yeah, 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 because uh, mm-hmm. you can't tell the shape and size of something 
with your nose pressed up against that one flat brick. Well, the nuance uh, of the sun that is in a dubious position and moving in a, in a dubious path dubious is not... Dubious position. It's been there for billions of years. It's not a dubious enough. position. Let me finish What's my poll. You don't know anything about the hey, guys, guys, heads man. up, heads up, 10 minute warning. Sorry. Okay. The, the, the position of the Very sun good. and its previous path should not be convincing enough for anybody to move away from the obvious fact that we're not spinning. That's a non sequitur for somebody. That is, that that is not an obvious fact. No, no, no. Let me finish my point that you can, for someone to say that we're not spinning and uh, it appears flat, to move, to go to angular size of the sun is a non sequitur and essentially a flat earth proof mm -hmm. in my opinion. Well, I'll go on. Yeah. Fucking word because salad. You deal with the ground, bread. right? You deal with the ground as a separate thing than what's going on above because you haven't properly defined what's going on above, right? Yes, the initial have. question Fuck always off, comes back Pete. to are we moving? Something yes, is fucking moving. Fuck off, Something Pete. is moving. So there's three possibilities. We're moving, i.e., the ground beneath our feet. The sky is moving, or else a mixture of both. Now you've got to determine uh, which is which because if you start off on the wrong uh, beginning position, then you're going to end up in La La Land, which is where we've ended up, right? With uh, the decision to assume that the earth is moving beneath us. Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? Can y'all hear me? Hey, what's up, so you can find man? I'm sorry. I saw you there, but I I'm sorry about oh, the email thing, man. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I've been sitting here, I man. I've been you, but I couldn't find you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to chime in, and my audio wasn't really right because I was driving, so. Okay. Uh, I'm home now, though. But yeah. I, I just wanted to ask a question real quick at that school. Absolutely. Uh, so I made an observation today while I, was, I mean, I've been on the road all day. Uh, the moon was out in the daytime. Yeah. Uh, now, my question is kind of a two part question. Uh, the first part is Is it, y'all believe that it is a sphere reflecting light, right? Yeah, moon, yes. Okay, a sphere reflecting light, reflecting the sun's light. Yes, it is. No, I don't believe that. I appreciate the fuck out of what you just did, Seek and Find. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, sorry. What'd I do? You, you explained it correctly. And it just, it made me, it made me happy not to yeah, have I'm to say to it. I'm trying to make sure I word this correctly. There's so a question, man. He didn't explain that until he asked the question. Yeah, okay. So, sphere reflecting light, right? So, when I saw it today in my daytime sky, right, the bottom half, uh, well, I won't say half. It's like the bottom sliver. You can just picture the moon being in the sky, the bottom sliver. It's not illuminated. You can't really even see it. Okay. So right off the bat, to me, that doesn't make sense. Uh, but I guess really my question is, is the phase of the moon that I see the same for every observer? And yes. let's, let's, say, let's say in a 24-hour period. Yes, yeah. it is. That's How does question. that... Can you can you try to make sense for me? Because if, if you can just picture what I'm thinking, that I see this moon in my daytime sky, it's a sphere reflecting light, and everything's in motion. Why isn't the phase changing? Because like tonight, I'm gonna see that same moon, and it's gonna be the same phase. Yeah, because that we're all that really, couple really went... far away. You're asking okay. several questions at once, but yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, like I said, it's kind of a two part question because to me. The well, bottom half not, not being illuminated didn't make sense. And then, like I said, the phase being the same for everybody, when everything's in motion over this 24-hour period just doesn't make sense. Y'all can go ahead. Well, you may as well. I mean, you can consider it as, as the same. Obviously, uh, the, the moon is orbiting the Earth, so it is constantly changing phase slightly, but it is very slow. It takes it 27.4 days. Uh, to make one revolution so over the course of six hours it's not going to change enough that you'll visually notice no uh see any difference but we're not talking about six hours here we're talking like i said i saw this i would probably say two o'clock well, in the afternoon even a day you, you're it's 127th uh, uh change yeah that's all okay even with the angles changing like the angle of the of the spinning earth is changing <laughs> plus the angle now this yeah, is, these yeah, are spheres no. now, right? <laughs> and remember that the that the 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 moon is thirty times the Earth Earth's diameter away from you. That that is enormous. That's that's like a basketball, and go about twenty feet away and take a softball, and that's the moon. It doesn't look like that. It doesn't look that distance, man. No, can you can. prove that? Yeah, we can. You sure? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 
You're so certain, yeah. aren't you? I think it's hilarious, mind of God, and, and if you can find, I think it's hilarious that they fed us with these astronomical eras in, of time and distance, right? I've bounced um, radio waves off of it, so. But wait, not, sure not, you not, have, not, sure you have, yeah. Question, does that, yeah. is that, is If okay. you're calling me a liar, I'm going to get no, no, but just, just to get a second question, is that, even though, okay, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll buy, we'll buy the slow changing part, fair enough, but now should that be experienced by everyone uniformly? On it, planet. it is yes yes is that is just a with yes the, with or? the angles the angles are constantly changing though. and it's a sphere reflecting light and the angles are changing yeah, yeah. your point so why isn't why is the phase the same for everybody how is the angle constantly changing changing a well, little bit well, the earth is like spinning a, <laughs> mean the earth it, is spinning it's path across the sky no that's John, he's not asking an angle change for things that are this far John, oh. he's asking from a different vantage point for all people on Earth. Right, right, right. Different angles while the while the Earth's spinning, everybody has a different angle to this sphere that's in the sky. <laughs> just do you the know math. What I'm saying? So, yeah, just all you got to do is the math that, that for something that's that far away. Seek, that's their answer. Just do the math and quote unquote geometry. Then they'll just get us on our merry yeah. way. Well, I'm it's sorry, you don't believe geometry. The next to you, that's the way it works. By this way, we don't believe more than that's out geometry. like. 50 miles now, if away. You could, yeah, if you could no, just, okay, all right. But, well, <laughs> I, 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 I would be miles away. That's preposterous. It's not even on that yeah. order of magnitude. I mean, somebody's trying to give you an explanation, John Hawkins, and you guys keep talking over him. So, I mean, and the explanation is there. If you know the heliocentric model, how it works, you will have the answer. But if you refuse to look at it, then it's on you. It's not on okay, us. The whole point is we're questioning whether it works. And that's the whole point of this discussion, man. Oh, or if you know how the heliocentric model works, you will not be in the flyer because everything works. No, we would. That's the whole point. There's a, there's, a there's, a there's a difference. There is a difference between um, questioning and outright denying. And you guys are outright denying. No, over questioning, questioning. And your only answer is geometry, math. No, what no, is that? I haven't said. I haven't said either of those words this whole night. No, you clowns all do that. I post a bunch of videos on my channel about the moon facing the sun, and it's still not fully illuminated. And you guys will just because be like geometry. Because that is okay. your perception of where the moon is yeah, to the where know, the sun is. There is they, oh, wait, hey, if the sun, if the moon isn't in uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> an eclipse situation. That, you got you guys like this line of sight concept, right? With the, with the obstruction bottom up, the, the sun and the moon have line of sight. Why isn't this moon always illuminated then? Have you grabbed it, a, it, a, it a is. Ball 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 ball? No, I have I have videos on my channel showing the sun and the moon in the in the in the air at the same time okay. facing okay. each other and they're still not fully illuminated. Well, Sean, the, you, the, the moon is have, always illuminated halfway you, by the sun at all times. Right, I guess. No, there's line of sight. Well, metaphor. It's all a metaphor. There's only one thing that exists, and that's the truth. And that's what we're getting towards now. Anybody grab a tennis ball while the moon is visible, put it away on your hand, and match it, and look at the moon, look at the tennis ball, they will be illuminated by the sun. Jose, are you trolling or are you serious? We don't know. He's 100% he's 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 correct. It works every time. 100%. Yeah, but that just tells you that there's a direct relationship between the sun and the moon. Okay. I'd much rather try to uh, get venture into what is the truth of the situation uh, and leave these lies behind. We know that the ball earth and the spinning ball earth, the heliocentric Big Bang model is all metaphor. So what is there for us to figure out? And like you, mind of God, I believe that there's a greater plan in play here and that the creator, or every one of you, him or her or it, uh, has everything in absolute control. And it's only via the heliocentric model and the Big Bang model <laughs> that we get the contrast that we need Correct. to come to Correct. appreciate the truth. Correct. Correct. And so God, God is putting God, God, God is putting those curves. God is putting those curves. God is putting those curves on the moon to get you to believe those things, just like the optics. Wow. He's giving you that. You that's really are. That's where. Yeah, that's where that's, really that's are about to this. Ignorant. That's about a. That's, that's, that's where. Put yeah, sweat. Hang on. About, hang on. Hang on. Saying this is serious. Yeah, He's you can't. You can't do that, mind of God, because you you just put a boatload of innocent people into a very disrespectful term. No, 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 not, not yeah. the people that don't know. No, no, not them, not them. Not a majority of the 99% of the world that don't know or don't care. I'm talking about you guys who are on this call, who care and can come on these hangouts. Yeah. You, if you want me to call out your names, you uh, and for example, when I told you about the tennis ball, wow. you say, are you trolling yeah, me? That's... No, it's but, true, but, bro. But I'm saying that God that's is the way you he's, come giving, across. he's giving you a couple things to make your model have a hope, like okay. I said in that Venn well, diagram. Yeah. Will you uh will you do a test for me or you're gonna mm. this? so 
tomorrow. Wow. Shoot a laser across 25 miles, show that it's flat. No, no. At 10 o'clock mm-hmm. in the morning, wow. will you put okay. a, will you hold a tennis ball up in the sky, facing uh, you facing south, and take a picture for me of that tennis no, ball? I've seen, I've seen that before, and and it's actually the perfect. It's the ep- ep- epitome of uh, the the ball earth science. Just like the sticks in the ground, God is giving you guys nonsense, and you guys, that's all you're staying on. That's okay, why does it work? Though? Why would God give us nonsense? Yeah, yeah. that uh, nonsense that works. Why? Well, you- um, no one's arguing that that's a real thing, but to then use that to be your foundation for so the God is blind. To us, I would like to know why is God is such a mysterious fucker. Why? Yeah, God, God is like. Why does, like, he want to, like why does he want to trick everyone? Like he, like, like he was getting at this duality, this contrast. God is waking up his children. He has deceived us, but he wants us to love truth. And a lot of us love truth, and we don't know why. So he wants us to love <laughs> truth, but he, the creator, is blind. So can I, can I ask, right. uh, let me yeah. ask Sean Hawkins something. Oh, yes, my God, you God dude. Before, yeah, hang on, before Sean, you talk, let me before ask you talk, guys, um, <laughs> instead of <laughs> ending it right now, I'm going to add five more minutes. And All I'm right. gonna go Let go me... take a puff off my 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 little, my little pipe, and then I end it. So please be civil. All right. Go ahead, Pete. No, Let me ask can... Sean something. So Sean, as an atheist, do you believe that uh, time immemorial before you arrived and time after you leave here that you are obliterated and you're nothing? You won't have any memory of any of your experiences here on life. Do you believe that you lose yourself completely? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you, you believe that, that. You, believe you know that. how much. Let, let me just say this: no man, you know how silly you are, then, Sean, because in your precious well, time that you have here, you spend countless you know hours, days, months, are? weeks, years you wasting your time know. trying to con- trying to persuade retards that the our flat earthers that something that's so clear and obvious um, is the case, as opposed to their point wow. of view. You know how you're wasting really your life, man? Absolutely no sense, Pete. No. no, he's saying, Sean, why don't you go do something else? If you think you're going to not exist after this, why not do something else more fruitful, more productive? Your more... time is valuable. Your time is the most valuable thing you have, Sean, because it doesn't exist for it's you. You don't time, exist beyond right? your 60 short my years time? or whatever. It is. Right. Yeah. Dude, doing laundry is more productive than time, you right? hear us make fun of you. Go out and help no, people. Go, go, go and spread laundry. love, man, instead of hate. I choose to do this. So yeah. what's your point? Yeah, did you choose to kill people when you were in the army, Sean? No, I didn't. Choose. I didn't choose to kill people. I ask you about nine eleven, and you call me a disgusting man because I talk you about nine eleven being a media fake. You were not There is absolute dad. proof. There is proof 911. that nine eleven was a media and uh, uh, a big fakery extravaganza. Oh, yeah, now you joined the army. You Shut your mouth, you ignorant man! And you you joined the army. You put up a gun on the back of a hoax, right? Anybody, anybody not questioning our government in modern day is an enemy to the common man, sir. Yeah, but he picked up a gun, mind of God. You see, and kill possibly kill people right on the back of no, the I didn't. So he well, if you didn't, then other people did, like that you know, right? Yeah. So other people did. wouldn't you think there's a bigger onus on you to you better hope there's no God then if that's your attitude, I reckon. Because I if you don't look into God. the not possible, how do you think I came by the realization that 9-11 is a media and a victim hoax? It was true research. You're man. a disgusting fuck, dude. It Sean, our not, government right. is not not us. Sean, our government is not telling us. Our government is telling us to question them. I really don't care what you think. I know you don't, man, because you're sold out. You had top secret clearance in the army, didn't you, Sean? So you said? You had top top, some sort of top uh, top secret clearance? Yeah, top secret enough to uh, take uh, process and print photos from the SO-71 Blackbirds. uh, Very good, very good. So you have a sort of a vested interest. Do you still work for the army, Sean? No. Do you get a, a pension? No. Okay, you left it completely behind. So now you would, uh, and there was someone in chat tonight, or maybe it's Nathan Oakley. Who, who drove in a, there was someone in chat who drove a tank in the army, huh? who drove what a tank in the army, and he realized, he realized, and he admitted that he was pissed off that 9-11 was a media and a victim hoax. What does my military service have to do with the shape of the earth? Well, there's plenty of, plenty of military men in this arena, first Lots of all. Of them. It's infested. So? It's infested. Yeah. What does this... What does my military service? So have now to here you are spending year? spending day in day out, uh, trying to convince flat earthers that you the can't. earth is a ball, and you have a it history is. and a, and uh, an attachment it is. with and top I level appearance. Leave someone finish. Leave someone finish. Yeah. Festering Uncle Fester. Uh, leave someone finish. So you you spend all this time, but you have this vested interest, or you have this association, top level clearance level, um, uh, with oh, the no, army. So no. we should be suspicious. And yet you haven't applied no, your no, your no. investigative skills to look into nine eleven, possibly being a media hoax, right? It wasn't a media hoax. You fucking fuck. 
So what no, was it? Sean, it was a control. Was it? it was an actual was fucking event that killed 5,000 people, you asshole. I thought it was 2,000. No, it was 5,000, you fuck. It wasn't exactly 5,000. Five, no, wait, wait. Exactly 5,000? I don't know. Fuck off, okay? I, know, I already know, we're to, I already know what's being talked about, Esther. and we're done talking about it. That's, that's why I'm happy it happened when I wasn't on the panel. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and end it, because uh, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, because right, we're I, getting too close to truth, Sean, but that's okay. Tonight, I'm going to address real things. Everyone, we have to bring bullshit into a conversation about the shape of the earth. Sean, you your know. numbers are way off, sir. 2,000. Yeah, 2,900. 2,700. Guys. Guys. Sean, how many were killed and 6,000. Hang on. Stop. Okay, so it's fine. However many of them were Everybody you, stop. Sean G. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Sean Dawkins. Sean Sean Dawkins. <laughs> Sean, do you want to go ahead and say your final words? I'm going to go ahead and end the panel. Say anything final real quick. Um, I'm four or five subs away from 666. Let's get them at five, people. Number for flat Earth. You're flat Earth asset number 666. That's perfect. I All love right. It. It's your turn. Uh, my, or, did you have anything else, Sean, before? I didn't want to cut you off. Is that it? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Okay. Mind of God? Okay, so September 9-11. No, man. So, hey, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope. Oh, nope. Sorry. Okay, we're not allowed I, to. Okay, no. my bad. We I, no, no, no. I, 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 I don't because I put that on. Let him say he's peace, Sean. Let I, him no, say no, no. I, put I, that. Won't, I won't. I won't. I won't. Rich, in, rich in numerology. It is. Uh, it was a demolition, but that's fine. Uh, good, good discussion. Um, you know, we're, we're still, I guess, working towards hopefully a, a test that is more conclusive where both sides buy in. I'm not exactly sure if that will even ever happen, but, um, you know, enjoy the discussion. It is hard to believe that an entity out there created all this. How can something spiritual create things physical? It's not easy to wrap our head around. However, I don't recommend people stay there. Okay, hope everyone's doing well. Bye. Thank you, Mind of God. I do appreciate you being on, my friend. Um, yeah. Exactly. Jose, my man. Thank you very much stuff, for yo. I appreciate it. I came in hot. I already apologize for evidence of the globe. I got a little test as by your observation on my channel, which presents the actual curve. And I got a bunch of observations of things disappearing from the bottom up in a very clear day with no mirage. So check it out. Earth is a globe. Flat Earth is a fantasy. Thank you. Uh, you can find my friend. Uh, you've been doing, I've been seeing you here and there with uh, your uploads, my friend. You, you, is that what it's going to be for right now? Just kind of slowly but surely? Time. Time is not on my side, but uh, I plan on, like I said, I plan on going live. Having having discussions, uh, I think I think flat earthers, a few more of us need to step up and uh, have some platforms for people to come and speak their mind, whatever they want to say. I'm not looking to have my channel blow up or nothing, so I'm not worried about any of that getting copyright strike or none of that. I think this was a good show, man. Thanks for having me. Uh, I think Mind of God and Pete they brought out some good points. Pretty good show, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. I do appreciate that a lot. Um, and if you, uh, I was gonna suggest the other night. Uh, maybe you hosting a couple of hangouts and recording it with the OBS just to get the the hang of the the doodads before you right, go live. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I like I said, I, I know you got a really good graphs of it, so that's not an issue. So yeah, I'm off tomorrow. I'll be on it tomorrow. Oh, so. oh shit! Then, hey, then hit me up. We'll do another. We'll do another run through it. I right, appreciate you, Sean. Yeah, no problem at all, my friend. Um, did all right. anybody? All right, guys. I. I Thank you all for coming on, and I, 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 I hey, appreciate hey, it. Hey, for... hey, 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 come on, come on. Holy come shit. On. You know what, Pete? Holy shit. Don't, you don't are right. That is though. fucked up, and that is my bad. <laughs> Holy crap. It's my fault because I jumped around. Okay. Yeah, okay. I won't say too much. Uh, yeah, well, I'd much rather uh, us try to get to the bottom of what is. We already know what isn't, and these type of debates are just circular. We never get anywhere, and everyone has their position. Uh, say, uh, my, I'd be appealing more to the likes of uh, seek, uh, seek and Find. Is that? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, when we get to a flat Earth, uh, we can look at the moon and the sun and all of the different skylights in a different sense, and we can ask ourselves basic questions. Why do the sun and the moon appear to be the same size? Well, I have made great strides in terms of my own understanding uh, as to what's going on, and I think this is really... Uh, where we should be focusing. We can have time for these type of discussions just to hone our own skills. Uh, but yeah, we can't forget about the, the greater picture here. And yeah, 
thanks for the yeah the chat, I guess. And yeah, it's yeah, Pete, I, yeah. I'd love to have a conversation with you, Pete. I think the worst thing people can do is call somebody crazy, man. I love to sit down and hear your thoughts on stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. one sec. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was actually Pete. Not a problem. Um, are you interested in, in doing the Aristarchus thing uh, this week, or would you prefer some down the road a little? Maybe, man. Um, I just got a new guitar yesterday. Actually, I bought one for forty quid. So I might be doing a hangout my own myself maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. tomorrow. Uh, but certainly, uh, that'd be cool, man. Yeah, maybe it, in the next week. Yeah, it, yeah. If if anything, I mean, you can do it on if you you can do it on your channel. I just want to hear it. So you know what I mean. Um, so if you no, do I'll, it on... I'll, I'll definitely speak to you, Sean, okay, on it, awesome, and we can put awesome. aside an hour or so, and uh, yeah, I'd get a chance to sort of uh, as as opposed to in text form and chat or yeah, yeah. just argue my way through yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, no. and be ridiculed. You know, yeah, I, I want to hear it. Yeah, no, I don't. That's why I want. Fantastic. To give you that's what I mean about. That's what I mean about coming to the the truth of flat earth. This is the starting point. Then everything else can unravel. And once you've figured out to your own satisfaction the external world, then you can start applying everything to you the uh, perceiver here the experiencer and well again everything is far more wondrous than uh, you could ever imagine that's my my view on it so cheers. I agree. good point um okay guys i'm gonna get the hell out of here um everyone that's here appreciate the shit that you're here um you guys are like i said you're always more than welcome on on the panel um to present or have this discussion debate don't matter this, you, this is home for you guys as well um Mind of God, Jose, or mostly Mind of God. Find out from Chris if you if if you guys are serious about that debate. Me and Jose are are more than willing to. Um, just know, Sean, uh, you, Sean. You guys need a break, man. We we destroyed you guys today. Do you need some rest, like a week or two? No, and no, get well, your, well you there's know? one thing missing. There's one thing that's missing. What's that? Barney, the voice of reason on the stream. <laughs> otherwise, no, seriously. Otherwise, Anything. I I would have said something in the middle of the stream. Um, I I. I'm going to tell you now, I don't think I'm ever going to debate unless he is my moderator because he's, he's very reasonable and I don't worry about anything. And if I do worry, it's only worry because he's going to end up helping you guys anyway with that fucking no, gravity isn't a force shit. <laughs> we have the luxury of finding one thing that doesn't work in your paradigm and you, your stuff goes bye-bye. No, it so, doesn't. Yeah, it does. Hey, hey, then you, then it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be cut and dry then. It'll be very cut and dry. Well, we, right. we can talk whether whether Barry's there or not. It's up to him. But um, you know, I'm I'm a, I'll jump on. I like your I like your hangouts. Well, we can talk. About yeah. Virtual. If and if he that, doesn't uh, if he doesn't want to, let me know. And then and it doesn't need to be like that. It's more of just the fun of it. Again, me and Chris, I I, I still got to talk to Chris. Um, but it's it's let him know if I haven't if he hasn't talked to me before. You talk to him. Just let him know. Mm. I apologize for being vengeful because. I don't know him personally, just so you know. Oh, I mean, oh, I oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, okay. Say, yeah. But I mean, I, it, yeah. it would be a good idea. Just yourself, minor God, Sean G, and myself. That's it, the four of us. And we talk about, we try to be civil with each other, not over talk. And say, so like, let me get one minute to get the point across. We'll try not to jump over each other. I think it's a good approach. Mm -hmm. More people should be able to have these discussions without somebody intervening, like, calm down and chill out because mm. we can do that to ourselves we can control ourselves and, and keep our cool i think we'll say good idea too shonji can stream it on this channel i can stream my channel at the same time we can multi-stream it and a lot of us will be a big cool discussion you know mm. we we don't have to do it uh structure we can do just an open discussion but we respect on letting each other talk you know yeah, uh, yeah you know what was good is actually whether it's like in a team or not but let's say us four do do that let's say we all independently present our five top reasons or 10 maybe or three uh for you why said, we you said do -do. <laughs> it's not it's the boto uh, the dote yeah that, there you go that's a cheap shot man you only say that when he drops off that's weak or is pete still here oh, yeah he dropped off all right but uh yeah i mean yeah well just just let me know this week's bad just because tiger's playing uh, Tiger, Tiger in, Woods, yeah. um after that i'm, I'm okay sounds good Sounds good. And yeah, I think that's a good idea. Just a nice little discussion. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this hangout and then say goodbye okay. to the peoples. And I will talk to you guys later. Jose, you going live still? Or going? Are you premiering? Hey, Monica, stuff? Don't go nowhere. All don't right. Don't go nowhere, Monica. Okay. I, you're, you're muted. You're muted. I'm not sure if I'm going premiere. I might do it. I might not. We'll see. I just throw okay. it in there. Just okay. For future reference. Cool, cool. All right. Thank you. I'm out. All right. You guys have a good one.
All righty, people. Uh, today, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I actually enjoyed today. Um, again, I've said it before. I, I could easily just have a discussion and BS and hang out with flat earthers and, and, or just globe. I prefer doing that than this back and forth. My evidence, your evidence. Because, I mean, let's face it. It's a globe. So it's kind of irritating for me. Um, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but when you just come to the situation not to be better than everyone else or not to be uh, the one that proves someone wrong, you can, conversations can go anywhere. I know that because I've had conversations with the with people in this chat that I would never have had a conversation with when I was a flat earther or, or before that or, you know, before actually knowing some of them. I, again, you don't go through a flat Earth phase and then and then become a you know know it's a globe and and still want to have a decent conversation with flat Earthers unless that's what you were given when you did it. So um, I am seeing this progression of you know people wanting to be aggressive about it. Um, you're gonna get further. At least I got you know if it wasn't for the fact that the people that I knew, my boy Big Dreads, uh, if it wasn't for them. You know, not being aggressive at me and, and just talking it out, and 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 just so everyone realizes, not because they wanted to convert me to flat Earth. Because remember, as a flat Earther, um, I, I I still had a a lot of my views that I, I did before I even found out about flat Earth because those things were so were so known in my brain. Like I knew these things existed and they were real. I had to construct them into this flat Earth idea I had. It didn't work. Maybe that's why it didn't work for me because I actually had things that I knew about that couldn't work on a flat earth even when I tried my ass off to, to make it work. But the one thing that I, I know I didn't do is I didn't say you're wrong and you're lying because I needed some more time to try to figure it out. It, that's disingenuous, I think. But, I mean, if you go through the last five months, you will see a, a slight progression in, in how I think about what I thought I knew. You'll hear me say I'm sorry a lot. You'll hear me ask a lot of questions because it's, it's literally in, it's just ridiculous for me to think that I know everything. Again, I am very confident at my profession as a, as a, contract, a grading contractor in the, the, the dabbling in survey that I do. I'm very confident in it. But like George and, and Jesse, I would fanboy it up and ask questions for days to those guys because they have more experience than me. And I, you need to drop the egos to realize that you are not the best. The best you can do is try to get there. And no one's going to, no one knocks you for doing that. It's how you got there. Do you, you just tell people how wrong they are all the time are you coming from a, a i really want you to understand side of things is is what you're trying to figure out what you you're trying to figure out how it works or are you trying to figure out how you're going to make it work science doesn't do that nowhere in science does it have to work Nowhere in science does it say everything is infinitely going to work the way we know. Nothing. Never will ever in your life find that in any science text, term, or glossary, or nothing. And also, individual people's ideas and their knowledge of things are, are singular to themselves. So, rumpus does not speak for anybody but rumpus. So the second you bring him up and, and, and use his knowledge as, as the Earth's evidence, being disingenuous. I mean, let's get one thing straight. Rumpus is smart as fucking shit, but that does not mean he's, he doesn't know everything. He can think he does, but he doesn't. And, and the reality of it is, is we are here creator or no creator with the thought in our brains why 
how, when. These key words are, are in our brains for a reason. We are inquisitive. We want to know. Science isn't a thing. It's a, it's a it's want. You want the knowledge. Science is how you get the knowledge. Scientific method is, how you, is a tool, luckily they figured out, that weeds out where people would jump and skip steps just to make their narrative work. The second science figured that was going on, they figured out a method in which you have to be accountable for what you say. And yeah, 100% guys, I know there have been peer reviews that have gotten public publicized with no review. But who am I to be so disingenuous to say that all peer reviews are like that? Especially because tomorrow, guys, I'm going to show you peer reviews where every fucking science agency in on this earth says geoengineering is dangerous. And when I say dangerous, guys, I'm talking insanely dangerous. They, they have four models that just only so far have predicted natural disasters east to west coast of the United States guaranteed with hurricanes and tornadoes. Every other climate model, they have to, and if you know anything about these models and how they work, there's a certain allotted time that they run on these systems. Well, imagine if one, this one thing, geoengineering, was so you know, chaotic and just no pattern, nothing to it. There's no one model that's matched another model's prediction. Not one for geoengineering. They cannot predict anything if you add geoengineering to it. The best, the, the closest they've gotten, and you're going to love this number. If you know, you know about these models, you, you'll understand what I'm about to say. They've had to add 100 years twice to every model to get the closest prediction they can. And still doesn't work. But, you know, hey, they're going to do it. They're, they're go this month, next month, Harvard, Harvard Geoengineering Program, David Keith, Bill Gates, you know, Pfizer, yeah, funded. They will be doing geoengineering and then presenting those tests to legislation as soon as possible. But here's the thing. What they're posing does nothing for emissions, does nothing for global warming, except one thing, a chance. Tomorrow, I'm going to let you guys know exactly what that is. Uh, to a T, understand this. Not only do they lay everything out, what they want to do, they have no evidence that shows that it will work. They have only, only started to figure out how to mitigate the risk how to figure out even what the risk level will be. But they can't tell you where. And it's not just about what the, the climate that happens, man. That's actually, matter of fact, I'm going to tell you right now. Global warming, climate change, global temperatures are the last important thing that would need to be talked about with the issues that are going on that they are talking about under wraps and if they're not under wraps then i suggest you go look up solar radiation solar uh solar radiation management or harvard uh university geoengineering project scope x those are the main ones happening in the united states and finding some information that says different from what i say to you guys because tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna go in on it i got i compiled everything i need i i have right now in front of me Four pieces of paper, three on my three on my computer, and four clips that will basically show you Bill Gates is funding all this 
And whatever he decides wins. Doubt me? Prove me wrong. I'll prove you wrong if you think I'm, I'm not right. It'll be fun. Real fun. All right, guys. You guys have a good one. I ranted long enough about what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, thank you for being here. You have no idea. No idea how important it is. All right, y'all. Thank you.